Oh, yeah. What's good, y'all? Speed Club Podcast is live, man. Early morning tip. My nigga Mobile already won. You know who I am. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, niggas did a juice review today. Had to do that. Yeah, I'm going to peep that, man. I, I caught the yeah. tell of um, what Tribro was saying about how um it captures like early 90s hip hop, like 91 New York. And I definitely agree because, you know, New York and and I'm pretty sure and Boston, I don't know. I think Boston, son, like niggas need to put respect in Boston's name, man, because Boston is on some, some other shit, yo. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's some grimy shit, man. Yeah, it's some, some real movie. grimy shit, like where like niggas don't report type shit. Yeah, you know it's like, like yeah, niggas got, got to put respect in Boston, yo, because them niggas, them niggas is ill out there. Facts. <laughs> Dorchester, Mattapan, Mat- Murder, Mat- Pan. Mat- Pan. yeah, Murder yeah, Roxbury. Dorchester, you know? Roxbury, yep. Me and Ray ran all through that shit. Yeah, Crazy days, man. Yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah. Monsanto, oh, yeah. Doobie Sonic, peace, man. Peace, everybody. Doobie. Man. My nigga Doobie was goody. Shout to Doobie. Yeah, shout to to you. No, go ahead. No, my bad. Who was, who was also in there? No, it's just well, it's four people. I'm just reading off the chat. Um, No, Mike, Michael Monsanto, he was just saying about how um a lot of people don't realize Google is straight from Boston. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that until like years later, but he, the way he rapped Brooklyn is like it's hard to tell. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Swears in the building. Peace, peace. Hey, Squares. How you doing, brother? Yeah, man. Shit. Yeah, man. So on Saturday, man, I went to Miami, South Beach, like North Miami area, Wynwood, the exact, you know what I'm saying? I went to the event with the low lives, do the event and shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, had a great time. I was only there for like a couple of hours, but yeah. had a great time. And um, met, you know, obviously, uh, I met Thurston Howell. Plenty of times, you know, because he lives down there in Miami and shit. But um, yeah, I saw Planet Asia. I was like, whoa, yo, I to, yeah, like, I see that picture. I was like, oh shit, son. I was like, yo, my G, like, yo, yo, hi, hi, yo, yo, peace. You know, you mind if I take a flick with you? Yo, you mad humble? Like, he wasn't no dick. He was a cool dude, son. Like, and I told him how you know, um, you know, pain language and um, abrasions, the the shade that were um, Jenzo Dean. That that's like my favorite joints from him. Is like, yo, you like you really appreciated that cool dude, man, and wise, intelligent too, cool as yeah. fuck too, man. Yeah, that, that, that's dope, man. That is yeah. dope. Yeah, wise, intelligent. Yeah, people don't talk about him, man. Like poor righteous teachers, man. Like I asked him about because he 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 dropped a solo album in '96 called um Killing You for Fun. So I was like, yo, son, that that kill you for fun album. So I was like, yeah, he's like, yo, that yeah, that's just man hard to find. Like, my dude, like, you plan on releasing that? I was like, yo, yeah, I might, I might. You know, I'll think about it. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. So I gotta I gotta peep that album because I do like uh the last two albums they did, man. Oh, uh Black Business and um New World Order. Order, yeah. Yeah. And that's the only one I need, cause that's just like for some reason, New World Order is the most expensive one out of that whole discography. It's probably my favorite, too. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. I keep it a thousand. Wasn't well, well, a big well, fan well. of the first one, but the last two I really dug. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Recipes of Father Shahid and um, Tony D. Yeah, RP. Word. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were really heavy into the whole um, 5% nation, man. Oh, yeah. Like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that real shit. Not that fake woke shit. That real yeah. shit. Exactly. You fake woke niggas out there be going to the strip club at the end of the day and doing <laughs> all kind of fucked up shit, man. All these Wakanda niggas, y'all fucking hate y'all, man. Oh, yeah. And I'm a big Marvel fan, but it makes yeah. me not want to fuck with Black Panther when I see that shit, my nigga. Like, I'm dead ass, <laughs> I- man. 
I still haven't to this day haven't seen that movie, yo. I love it, but you know what? I don't blame you, son. Oh no, no, blame- it's, not even, it's not even that. It's like um, you know, I don't have premium. I don't have the premium channels like that. Like I don't have HBO. You know, so I'm pretty huh. sure it'll come on HBO. You know, like I used because. I used to have all the premium channels, but you know what? Um, the switch with Comcast with um Xfinity, yeah. um, they um, you know, with this whole net neutrality shit. Like, we had a deal where like we had like all the premium channels. We paid like a certain price, but like ever since like they switch um, you know, cable boxes and stuff like that, it's like it's not the same no more. So you don't get all the channels. You have to pay extra for that. So. That's what I said. That's what I do and shit. I got some crazy shit. <laughs> got a lot of good shit. But uh, yeah. yeah, I just said I don't blame you because uh, if you didn't want to watch it, like fuck this movie, I don't blame you because it's like it's not even like the comic head niggas, these fake motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm pro black now. You know I'm I'm fucking watching World Star niggas getting bodied and shot. Oh, and yeah. But I'm pro black. I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blickly <laughs> believe y- 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 Y'all niggas see before now, but I don't get y'all no, niggas. Lord. Jesus Christ. I, I hate Yo. niggas like that. Like, oh, dude. same, same, same. These, these fucking come by lately ass niggas, man. Facts. <laughs> hey, I hate them. Like, like you know, these, these motherfuckers, son, here in Florida, son, like, they have, like, some niggas, like, that be dressed in, like, Charcoal Quest back in 1990 and shit. That is, that, that is bug. Yeah, yeah. All these fucking vegan ass niggas, man. Like, fuck out of here, son. You tofu eating motherfuckers, man. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, man. I, I get it. You want to eat healthy, you know, whatever. But it's just like, yo, make it affordable for people to eat. It's not, it shouldn't be just for the wealthy because that should be dumb expensive. Facts. And as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying that right now. And it it's is not hard. Easy. It's not easy, especially if you live in the hood. They know they, it's, it's, everything's all systematic, yo. Like, they know niggas in the hood. They can't afford that shit. So they put, yeah. like, the low quality meats. Like, you thinking, like, you're getting the best of the best because mm-hmm. you're getting all the, like, the low quality meat for, like, decent prices. You get wholesale prices. But you you killing us. You're killing us, dude. No, no doubt. That's what you doing. That's why Kill Boys me. in the Hood was dropping all kind of jewels, man. You know, like, you know, yeah. Furious Styles dropping those jewels. Like, why do you think there's a liquor co- store in every corner of the hood? You know, just talking about right. real shit. Yeah. You know? And that's 91. My nigga. 91, yeah. 90, 91, yeah. yeah. Um, justification, which is yeah. happening right now. I, I was telling my uncle today, but like, there's a lot of jewels in those fucking movies, man. You know what I mean? Oh, no doubt. It's tons of jewels, man. Tons of that shit. You can just live by that shit. Same thing with like the the cartoon Boondocks. There's Facts. mad, there's mad jewels in there. But you know, oh, yeah. take it for what it is, and not just think it's a, a comedy. But right. real niggas for what it is. You know what I mean? Oh, no, doubt. no doubt, no doubt. Because there's tons of Uncle Ruckus niggas out there, man. It's you know, Kanye what? West and shit. <laughs> he worried. <laughs> ben Carson <laughs> asking niggas and shit. Yeah, facts. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope y'all niggas are watching uh, Steven's video on BDP Criminal Minded, man. That's just great. Yeah, great. <clears> yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah stay tuned, man. man. Tomorrow, I'm, I might do um, By All Means Necessary, so I'm uh, off yeah. tomorrow, so I'm gonna do that. Then, um, it, it depending on how I feel, I might do the Blueprint album, so. <laughs> Word. Yeah. That 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 was whew, that that was a struggle. <laughs> it's one of those albums that you're like, man, this does nothing for me. You know what I mean? It was right. one of those joints. You know? you know what it is? You know what it was with that album? Like the shit that he was saying, it was dope. Like that's what it it, it was. It's like you know, people talk shit about Nas, but like I I feel like BD, I feel like Karis won should have won that award because they're like that ghetto. Album like Jesus Christ, like it's like he didn't know what the fuck he was. He wanted it's like he wanted like half reggae, half rap, and it's like I don't know, like the beat. It was the production, dude, because yes. the shit that he was talking about, the shit he was talking about, some some real shit. That's what saved him, it, like the lyrics and the the content. But 
It was just the production, yo. Yeah, it fell flat for me too, brother. I'll buy it yeah. one day to complete the collection. And I, I don't do that a lot with CDs, you know what I mean? But with right, DVD, right, I'll, right. I'll do it. And it's 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 yeah. dirt cheap. It's dirt cheap. Yeah. So I was thinking about this today, and I was brushing my teeth and shit. I was thinking about this shit today. I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna run this by the fellas one day, see what y- y- y'all niggas think." But you know how? Because something al- opposite happened to me the other day. You know how you go back and listen to an album you didn't like when you were younger, but now you like it. Repeat like, that again. I didn't hear. I didn't hear what you said. You said like you was oh. brushing your teeth. What? Yeah, I was, I was brushing my teeth, and I was thinking about running this by y'all. Like, um, okay. You know, like, ever happened to, this ever happened to you, like, you listen to an album in your younger years? Yeah. And then you go back to that shit, and you, uh, you like it as an older man? Like, that's what happened to, you know. Oh, like, uh, plenty of times. Plenty oh, yeah, like, with Tim, with Tim Dog, Penicillin on Wax, and right. um, Dr. Octagon, Dr. Octagon, a colleagist. But the opposite happened to me, where I listen to something that I liked, then I go back, and I didn't like it. That's that fucking, um... That diplomatic ties is by Suda Dumpster Juice. Trash. <laughs> I, I like about two to three tracks, but woo, that shit is trash, man. Diplomat, you said diplomat ties? Yeah, that new when joint. When did that come out? Came out like around Thanksgiving time, like this year. Oh, okay. The new joint. The new joint. Yeah. The new joint. Yeah. yeah. And that fucking upstage is trash. Whatever the fuck it's called. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit, yeah. Yeah, I'm like I used to worship these niggas, and they're dropping just fucking garbage, dude. Trash. Yeah, they, yeah, they trying to you know stay with the times and shit. Like I fucking hate that shit. Like, you and know. They're, they're, they're all looking whack out here too. Hellrell getting jumped and chased through restaurants. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> like fuck these niggas, man. Oh god. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> that's just yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, oh my god, yeah, it's it's just bad, man. It's like Jesus Christ, it's like it's like it's like a reality show, man. Like Facts, real life. Yeah. Facts, and that nigga be doing reality shows too. So, right, and the cows open the chat up. Niggas is talking. Let me see. We got six people. We got three likes already. Okay. Loving that. Oh, That's yeah. dope. Yeah, punch that shit up, y'all. Word. Matter of fact, let me share this um on my Facebook so you know people chime in and whatever. No doubt. Word. Yeah. Pause that shit. So it's that chilling, loving that new Conway. Oh, God, I am too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Woo! To hide the body? Jesus Ooh. Christ. Pistol on me and I'm propping his shoot. Sing 40 below's pock rocked and juice. Ooh. Damn. Nigga, Benny said, I put an ice pick in your head, but you're not from the, the roots. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll put a pick in your head, but you're not from the roof. That's you talking about ice pick. That shit is grimy, nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. Overdose is fire too. Yeah, yeah, doobie. He rapping on fast and shit on that. I love that. Yeah, fentanyl. That shit's dope. Oh yeah. What other shit I like on there? That motherfucking uh Bro, out of me, my nigga. Son. Ooh. He said some real shit. He said some real shit on there. So yes. like yo, you supposed to show me love, man. I thought you were supposed to be proud of me, but you know, you're like, oh my like, holy shit, it's like a, it's like a confessional. It's like Back. a different side of Conway, yo. Like you don't see that. Yeah, and that that, that fucking um the G Money on the roof of Flea Lord? Yeah. Oh, I, I can relate to that. Yeah. You know? Love that track. Yeah, yeah two dudes in the team, man. 2018, that I don't know, man. This year is, is very surprising for me. Same here, man. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Definitely one of the best years of the 21st century so far, man. Oh, yeah. Definitely, brother. I'm with you. That that 224 Mayblock. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. They got murder on my mind, nigga. That shit, oh, yeah, nigga. That shit is fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> that give you that oh in the way he's rhyming on that shit. Like he that nigga changes his rhyme schemes, you know? Yeah. His everything is fire about that nigga. You my favorite rapper, man. A motherfucking machine. Yeah. Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Son, I might get do, son. Oh yeah. I might get flamed for this and niggas call me a hypocrite, but they can suck my dick. That fucking oh, cocaine paid shit? Fine. I know it's some trappy shit he did, but I like that shit, man. He's rapping. He's rapping lyrical. He's not like he's rapping like a mumble. Right, nigga, right, you know? right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. Nah, like, no doubt. It's it's just like the joint with Rock Marcy. Rock Marcy yeah. The Corlick joint. You know what I mean? It was like kind of trappy, but it was like, it wasn't bad. Like, I actually liked it. Like, it was dope and... You know, it, it sounded dope. You know what I mean? And yeah, and, I don't think that would stop. Facts. And these these stupid niggas will diss Griselda for that. Like these underground cats. But they ain't the first time they did it. They did that shit on um, a thousand machine guns at Royce and, and shit. That shit was fire too. Right, 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 right. On that Hitler on steroids. Mm hmm. But yeah, man. This is what. Go ahead, Steven, my best. No, I was just saying, like, with Benny, too, like, he, he even said in interviews, like, yo, I do everything. I do trap shit, but I prefer that boom bap shit. Yep, I heard him say that, he too. That all the time. That Tanner Talk 3, too. Jesus fucking Christ. I love that shit, man. That good That's... night, Jay, man. That, that needs to be Ooh. the next video. Yes. Rubber bands and weight is my shit, too. What, what happened? Rubber bands and weight. Oh my, oh, god. my god. Oh my god. My background is pistol. I don't back down from issues. Pull back round and get you. Pull my mask down and clip. <laughs> like a petty. Oh, Dead nice. Jesus Christ. I'm glad he's finally getting his, his just do right now. Like is the focus right now is on Benny. Everything is on Benny right now. Yes. Yes. So I'm I'm glad he's finally getting his just do. I, yo, son, you see that shit with rapper Poo, Big Poo? Nah, it, it, the, you talk about the the breakfast for the Breakfast Club joint. Yeah, you told me about that. I I still haven't seen it yet. <sighs> that nigga's a fag for that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they're from Buffalo. Oh, oh, you know what oh, the my fuck God. they are? Of course they do. Yeah, niggas, niggas actually don't know the fuck what it is. That's corny to me, son. Nah, it is. It's corny. These niggas playing politics and shit. Yeah, facts. Like, like Dre said, yo. Fuck all these industry niggas, man. Like, dead ass. Right. Yeah. Ebro and these niggas. I want to give a shout out to Jay-Z. I got to give Jay-Z some props. That nigga had, uh, on his favorite songs of the year. Oh, the that... West Side joint, right? Yeah, the Brutus. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause niggas act like Griselda doesn't exist, and that is sad, man. Yeah, yeah. It just, it's, it's it kind. Of, I don't want to say it pisses me off, but it's kind of like, you know, I get it. You know, Griselda, you know, they're an acquired taste, and I said this before. Yeah. You know, with um West Side Gun, he has a high pitched voice. I could get it. You know, it's annoying. You know, people said the same to a Rock Marcy, Rock Marcy with the high pitched voice. I get it. You know, it is what it is. But again, everybody has different styles and, you know, but it's like the same shit, you know, it's like that real gritty New York fucking hoodie at night, niggas lurking in the darkness type shit. No, they yeah. should appreciate that shit, man. The niggas that the niggas want to bring back in the 90s, these niggas is doing that. And y'all y'all can't y'all can't appreciate that. Super facts, man. Like these niggas to me they gave me that same feel that Wu did. You know what I mean? Oh, no doubt. I said the story a thousand times. I was in a building when Wu-Tang Forever came out. You know what I mean? So right. after school, me and my uncle went to fucking Record Town, now known as FYE, when we got that right. shit. So when, when these albums come out, I feel that same excitement as a 33-year-old man, as a 12-year-old kid when I was in the building doing that. So that's why I love Griselda so much. You know I'm a fucking diehard money. You know what it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know? <laughs> Ooh, I bump the niggas at least once a day, at least. Boy. You know. And the only thing I can compare them to is the Wu because I can't compare them to D Block and G Unit because they had bitch songs that kind of were trash. 
You know, you did yeah. dip set. Yeah, but nah, but um no, nah, it that's a great comparison because you know, Wu's always been on some street shit. You like even though they had knowledge, they you know, they spent knowledge, but but they're going based on the five percent um way of things and that's right. just on some street shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, it is. It's the same thing with the Griselda family. You know what I mean? You know, it's like the way I see it is this. You know, the shit that they talk about it's nothing positive, but I the way I see it is like okay, the shit that they're talking about. Okay, I know not to do that, but right. most people don't see that. I, that's how I see it. Like oh shit, like okay, you think it's about that shit? Okay, I know what not to do. The shit that they went through themselves or they mans went through. Okay. I know just based on listening to that, I'm like, okay, I'll make sure I'm not to do that. So when I'm out in the war, in the in the war in the field, I know not to make those mistakes. Facts. And that's what I get. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely agree with that. Yeah. So like there's some of the realest niggas in the game. I mean in the history yeah. of the game. Like these niggas yeah. never ran down on for their jewelry like Dipset did. You know, I love Dipset, but yeah, that's not yeah, yeah. niggas jewelry. So <laughs> stack like yeah. that. Nigga, yeah. nigga had the purple city chain and the little ball and uh chain on that. Niggas know what it is. Yeah, so, Pro- Pro- Prodigy too. Rest in peace of Prodigy. Yeah, but Prodigy the realest nigga about that though. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's one thing, and that's one thing I respect about peace, huh? Like yeah, he never. He was never a sore loser. Like you're like, oh yeah, I got fucked up, but you know what? I still stand tall. Like this thing, never backed down. Whether he win or lose, he always stood tall, and that's one thing I respect about P. And that's niggas don't give that niggas respect facts. about P. You know, facts, Steve. I, yo, son, I agree hundred percent. Like the nigga was a man about all, and he got set up on yeah. some pussy shit. Facts. You know. He didn't get set up on a real nigga shit. He got set up on some pussy shit. How you gonna get out the car and talk to him and have the nigga worm sucker punch the nigga? That's some pussy shit. That is pussy. You know? That is real pussy, man. You oh, know? shit. And it... my, my bad. Oh, Rudy. no, no. Go ahead, Steven. What's good? Nah, Rudy. RJ Voorhees, 87. Shout out to oh. Rudy, man. What's up, Must brother? Up yeah. leader, man. And shout out to him, man. Hell yeah. Word. I see a nigga a lot in the chat. Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but like, niggas act like, like not so good, brother. Niggas act like Prodigy was in the building when True Life came up in the studio with the raps and all. He wasn't even there. Yeah, he wasn't there. It was. Um, yeah. I think it was Jizza, Muggs, DJ Muggs, and somebody else. Yeah. So I think it was there. Be a different story, man. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. You know, that nigga did a complete three eighty, my nigga. Jesus Christ, man! Oh my God, yeah, that, that uh, I, I haven't heard any new music from him, but it's just like from what I've been hearing, but from other people, <laughs> like from you and other people, I'm like, oh my God! And I was a big fan of those fucking True York tapes and all that, but right, <sighs> yeah, man, sad, yeah. Trash, <laughs> trash. Oh man, and the way he dresses too, and them tight ass pants and shit. Oh, he's gonna get a yeast infection and shit, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Oh no, yeah, shit. Yeah, I want, I want, I want the ghetto inmates' true life back, man. Hell yeah, ghetto inmates. Ghetto inmates, nigga. Two thousand six, yeah. Lizzie. Mm-hmm. Now, listen, listen to the kid. Word. Them Puerto Rican niggas on Low East Side, them niggas is wild, son. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah Rays and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy niggas. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I agree, uh, RJ. Yeah. KRD was goody. What's good, KRD? What's up, man? Where, where Chris at, man? Yeah, where this nigga at, man? I had the nigga up, see if he's uh, awake or some shit. Well, he le- he saw one of... Like, when I posted something on the group, he... um, I know he saw it, so... 
Yeah, he, I'll, yeah I, I'll, I'll, text, I'll text him. All right, brother. Yeah. yeah. You keep talking. I'm just, you know, oh, just yeah. funny. To you. No doubt. Yeah, I would just uh, I invited that nigga. See what happens. All right. Got to check out more and got to listen to West Side Gun. Yeah. And there he is. <laughs> there he is. Speaking of the game, I was just about to text you. Oh, what's up? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Yeah, I was just about to text you. We were just talking about you. Oh, what this thing is? So I was about to text him, and here you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's good, man? What's good with y'all? Chilling, man. I was like, I was bored as fuck, man. I just finished doing the BDP review a couple of hours ago, and um, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm like, I'm off today and tomorrow. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing anything. I was like, Mike, what what you doing? I'm bored. Let's let's go live, and then here we are right now. No doubt. Yeah, Ricardo, yeah. Ricardo should be joining us in like maybe like an hour or so, maybe yeah. less than that. So. Yo, damn! I was, I was, damn! I was Ross, man. That fucking time difference, dude. That five <laughs> hour difference. The yep. nigga probably come up like when niggas are gone, like at four in the morning. It's like you know, he probably oh, come up yeah. today. You know, yep. shout to Ross, yeah. man. That's my brother, yeah, right shout there. Shout to Ross, man. Yeah. yeah. I think, like you know, depending like the days that I'm off and shit, you're probably gonna have to do it like early, like eleven o'clock in the morning or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Some, like early shit, you know. For sure. Ross is a funny nigga too, man. Nigga had me in stitches, man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did a show with him recently too. Oh, the um yeah. the black shield of chaos joint, right? Yeah, that joint. Yeah. I was watching a little bit. I was watching a little bit of that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that nigga be lucking out, man, with the, some of the shit that he be getting. Like, yo, man. Uh, yeah, man. Who we can still to get that shit, man? Oh, Lucky Tom's ass nigga. <laughs> oh, God. I, I said that to him, too. He was dying. Man, Look this nigga. Ass, like, you know? Shit. Yeah, man. Shout out to Ross. Yeah, he, he be getting shit that, like, fuck, man. Like, damn, I wish like, I had that kind of money to get that shit, but. Oh, yeah. Definitely, man. Especially with that West Coast shit that he be getting, shit. Yep. I know, dude. That rap a lot of stuff too, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KLD said he enjoyed the juice from you. Hell yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. I gotta peep that. I know that shit was dope. Yeah, yeah. AG the video game said he liked it too. Shout out to AG the video game. AG, peace, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I know Chris, you fucking with that con. I know that. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. What's that song on there? Oh wow, uh, favorite song? Shit, I like um G Money on the Roof. Oof. Um, a uh, piece of my heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn, there's a lot. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Overdose. That's one of my favorite. Jesus Christ. And the alchemist be rapping like fast. Yeah, fat nose fire too. Yeah. That two two four May block. Oh my god. Alchemist. Yeah. I got murder on my mind, nigga. And they could drop fucking three bangers this year. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A G, unfortunately, Ross, um, he's um he doesn't have he doesn't have IG, but he does have Twitter. Um Ross is he's the white kid with the glasses with the um headpiece in the in the um in um the logo. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck Uncle Martin did that shit. <laughs> it's insane, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga that was his idea too, because I wanted like a black exploitation type of right. shit. Okay. Like having us with ratchets and shit like that, that'll be fucking fire. But um he said, Let's let's do the shit like uh Sound bombing too, and I was like, "Oh God, that is ill." Go ahead, do that shit. You know. Nah, it came out dope. I love yeah, it. I, I love it too. Mad props. So it's like, 
That's oh, definitely yeah. iconic. So definitely. It's amazing. Jeez. Yeah. Man. AG said that Conway is so good. Oh, yes, it is, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Thoughts on box cut of Pazzy going off on Ebro today. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, oh shit. shit. I got to check that out. <laughs> Get him, Vinny. Fuck that nigga. KD <laughs> <laughs> wow. said a Bronx tail or Kalito's way? Bronx tail. Bronx tail. Let's go with Bronx tail because... I love Kalito's way, but that little white bitch is annoying, and he, he tries to fall in love. Other than that, <laughs> Kalito's way is, 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 is fucking fire. But um, yeah, I get rocks here. They're both ninety three as well, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. I love, Sean, I love Sean Penn, but his his character was mad annoying. And I'm, oh I'm, god, I love when Kalito took the bullets out the ratchet, nigga. Here, nigga, you gonna, gonna seal your fate, my nigga. You know. <laughs> <laughs> When he visit that Italian nigga, I forgot the nigga name in the jail, and that nigga had me dying. He's like, "Listen, you little lawyer, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Those seals coming out of your eyeballs and that thing in the river." I thought I was dying, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's, that's a classic. Really I love Kalito's way. Oh yeah, I love Kalito's way, but I gotta go with uh, Bronx Tale, man. Yeah, Bronx Tale. A lot of jewels mm-hmm. in that shit too. Oh yeah. I hate them niggas. That nigga slick, though. That nigga a bitch, man. Facts. Oh, racist ass nigga, man. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is doing you with these niggas lately? <laughs> I, I hate that motherfucker, man. And that makes the black niggas so weak. I mean, these niggas from the Bronx getting stomped yeah. up by these corny ass niggas, man. I'm like, come on, man. You busting niggas' ass. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's because Neil wrote that shit, man. Those black niggas should have bust their ass. Yeah, but they but they're little niggas. They ain't put that shit with the older niggas from the Bronx. Oh hell no! Right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> That's a classic. Bro. I love that fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Sonny ain't Sonny ain't played that racist shit though. Shout out to Sonny, man. Word. My nigga L. Yep. Yeah, fuck, fuck that um rise to power shit that came like oh five oh six. The shit with Diddy. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh. Man. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I watched that one. Who the fuck had that DVD? One of my niggas had that DVD. I forgot who it was. Mm-hmm. But I watched it with him and I was like, oh my lord. <laughs> it was mad hype over that shit. Remember that shit? Yes. It was mad hype over that. I'm like, yo, like, seriously? This is the hype? God. And the nigga that played Kalito was the same nigga that played in uh, Hostel. Oh, god. I was god. like, it's corny. Spanish nigga to act like a white boy. I'm like, this nigga can't play Carlito. I'm like, come on, man. That nigga, yeah, yeah Chris. That nigga. Come on. <laughs> Sugar Hill or uh, Rage in Harlem? I never seen a Rage in Harlem, so I can't really. Uh... Oh, it's very underrated. That's um. Is it good? Force Whitaker. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's they, that's very underrated. Um, but I have to go with Sugar Hill, man. Like, oh Ray Naked, God. Romello, son, I love that movie, son. Yes. Mm. I love Ray Nathan. Yeah, yeah. Yo, he'll he'll lose cannons, son. I think we go. When they're eating dinner with the pops, that nigga said. Why do you just fucking die? I was like, God damn, this nigga hollered. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, nigga pissed on niggas' faces and shit. That nigga grimy. Yeah, shit. man. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, man. That, it's that's the a movie. I love that movie, man. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's with this Akata shit? <laughs> 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 you bust a nigga's asses. Oh man, yeah, Teresa Randall, man, Jesus Christ, yo, she is so fun. Mm-hmm. Light skin shorty, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah, that basketball playing nigga, want he wanted to get some head and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're a you're a fucking whore. <laughs> he was so random, son. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> he's not chilling. He's trying to rip this bitch. <laughs> and then when she punched him in the ball, it's like, you skazer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck this nigga sound like a Lord of the Rings villain and shit? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because <laughs> I, I just watched that the other uh month, like last month. Man. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was That's funny. funny yeah. <laughs> I need to watch the rating column. I never seen that shit. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good movie. It, 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 it's a slow burn, but it's a good movie though. Yeah. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker, man. He he's such a dope actor. He's very uh, he's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah. Hell yeah, he's great. Yeah, Hell man. yeah. Like that like Ghost Dog is definitely one of my favorite movies he's done. Yeah. Oh yeah. People hate on that movie, but I love that shit. I, I don't know why to be honest with you. That shit's fire. Oh yeah. You know, you know, I, I see why, you know, people is like a black dude with braids. He's a sam- black dude, black samurai. I'm like, yeah, like, come on. Like, it's more to it than just that, yo. Like, yeah. It's... There's some trash hood movies, too. Holy shit. Oh, now it is. Yeah, yeah. It's just, they just put like whatever C list rapper, and then, you know, oh, that's the movie. And then it's like, a uh, typical plot, like oh, uh, stole drug money, so gotta try to get it back, and like oh, come on, yeah. <laughs> like, all over Netflix, yeah, yeah you know, like we were, y'all remember Hot Boys with Soak the Shaka? Oh, oh Jesus, my <laughs> God, <laughs> holy shit, dude. Gary <laughs> <laughs> like, why is this nigga throwing roundhouse kicks at niggas and shit? Like, uh, oh, man, I'm like, yo, you can't be serious, my nigga. Like, right? Mm-hmm. Jesus. Oh, oh man. man. That's, too, that's too funny, man. Crazy. Hilarious. I love talking about hood movies, Caddy says. Oh yeah. Oh no doubt. Boys in the Hood or Juice. Mm. I love those movies. Definitely. Shit. That's that's kind of hard actually. It is. I just watched Juice yesterday too, so it fresh in the brain, so right. Damn, I'm about to go with Juice only because it's more relatable for me. Right. Same here because I used to cut school like a motherfucker. I'm keeping it a buck, me and my yeah. nigga. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll go Juice by Cunt here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And like Bishop is so fucking cool too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that 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 role. Unfortunately, that role stuck with Pac in real life, and he never loved yeah. that role. It's unfortunate. It's what got him killed. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling Chris earlier, man, that light skinned bitch from In Vogue. I forgot what's her name. Cindy Williams. Oh, oh yeah. Cindy Williams. Yeah, yeah, she's bad. Yeah. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Looking like a motherfucking snack, nigga. <laughs> a motherfucking full cost meal, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> Fine as fuck. Now I fucking hate in Vogue because my mom's had that motherfucking never gonna <laughs> get it on the loop. And yo, oh, mom, get another fucking. Like 92. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You play that shit over and over and over. My God, fuck mm-hmm. shit. Hold yeah. on was my shit, though, son. I don't care. That that hold yeah. on joint. Yeah. That's, that, that, that shit's dope. I'll give you that. Yes. I just thought about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't play it that much. She played that other shit Ooh, forever. Like, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Y'all need to check out the, the Molly Mall remix of um of Hold On Fire, my nigga. Whew. Shit. Yeah, that shit is crazy. That's real R&B right there. Even though yeah. I don't like some song from them, but, you know. 
gotta give it up. Although I'm not a fan of the albums, though the albums is kind of eh to me. Oh kinda yeah, heavy. oh yeah. I'm not. Well, I was a little kid, but yeah, I don't. What I remember, I didn't like at all. So, right. <laughs> <clears throat> Carol Diasco, Cedric the Entertainer or Dave Chappelle? Chappelle. Yeah, Chappelle for me. Cedric don't really be having me dying like that, though. I'm not going to. Nigga don't really do it for me. He's funny, but he's not like. Yeah. He's slapping his shit. Now, the one time he had me dying was Barbershop. That character was hilarious, man. That shit he'll oh, say, mm-hmm. you know, funny as hell. He had me dying in um the Kings of Comedy, the original Kings of Comedy. He uh, had me like I love that movie, son. I love that then, shit. Bernie Mac to the the milk and cookies. Oh What's man, milk and cookies. <laughs> I miss that dude, man. <laughs> Talk about the two year old being a faggot and shit. That shit was oh. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that show was great, too. I love that fucking oh, yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the shit that he talked about in that stand in that skit and that stand up, he made it to a show. That's dope. That That is dope, ain't it? That That is yeah. fire. Yeah. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. <laughs> Legend. Mm-hmm. That broke my fucking heart when he passed. Oh my god, yeah. Him, yeah. Jesus Christ. Big Bernie back. Man. Rest in peace. Definitely. You know who was kind of like familiar, like kind of like similar to him? Um, Robin Harris that played our uh, kids, um, Pops. In, uh, oh Pop my God. He's kind of he's similar to Bernie Mac. My uncle has had the comedy tape with the cartoon. I forgot the name yeah, of that oh, shit. Um, Baby's Kids, yup. I yeah. was dying. Yeah. And funny. do the right thing. He's funny as fuck, too, and do the right thing. He's on the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so he like said some, some real shit, though, to them niggas. Like, y- y'all niggas ain't gonna do shit. Yeah. You're going to let these Korean niggas take over and you're going to sit here bitching them on all day. No? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a classic fucking movie, man. 89? 89, yep. Yeah. Hey. Same here. That's from Brett's Brooklyn as well, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, RJ, unfortunately, Rudy, I, I, yeah, that, that belly two with game... Don't I didn't mind. see. I seen like bits of it. I seen that um part where um he was in the hood and like they had like that explosion. He had the AK, whatever. He was shooting at it, then the car exploded. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and the movie was supposed to be called Billionaire Boys Club or some shit. Not Belly Two. I don't know who the fuck put that on a movie, but uh, right, trash. <laughs> And I ain't no fucking biased nigga. Game one of my favorite rappers ever. Niggas know that, but I'm yeah. not gonna defend the nigga. That shit was garbage. Yep. Yeah. Dumpster juice. Trash. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a cash in movie. Oh yeah. Cause I, I got the I have some shit from what the hell was it? I think it's like a trailer after, before like uh the stop this and stop lying DVD and they show it. Right. It was called Billionaire Boys Club, but whenever it came out on DVD, some genius decided to call that shit Belly 2. Yeah. Because when did that come out? Like, 06? 08 or some yeah. shit? Oh, it was made in 06, like Doctor's Advocate era? Right. Okay, okay. But it came out in 08, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, um, yeah, probably because they didn't want to get sued by Pharrell and shit, so, you know, that key yeah. trademark, that shit, so... That's probably why he, he named it Belly Two. That is ridiculous. That's that's what I could think of, you know. Yeah. Hi Williams had nothing to do with that shit. I don't know what the fuck it's called Belly Two, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. Mm-hmm.
Uh, we got nine people in the building. Ten now. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Like that shit up, yo. Word. Like that shit up. <clears throat> Bernie Mac had me. Oh, yeah. Bernie Mac had me rolling in Players Club KD. He said, oh, yeah, dollar bill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Nothing. Nothing. Classic. Chase Lisa Ray is, What up, Chase? What up? Lisa Ray. It's diamond, son. Woo. Mm-hmm. Fire. <clears throat> yeah, like I, I, I've heard from other people, like that dude that um raped Ebony. Yeah, like, he's, he's really like that in real life. Like he acts wow. like, like he, yeah, he really acts like that as the character. Like maybe not, maybe like I, I think like early on in his career. Like he used to act like that, but now like I think he kind of calmed down and shit. Damn, this nigga murdered Kane. Yeah, raped Ebony. Huh? He's just a foul mm-hmm. nigga. Every movie. Word. I think it was in Tales from the Hood too. Funny as fuck too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean to tell me we're dead, motherfucker? Very. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing in here with your crazy ass? <laughs> Class, I need to get that, son. I got it like bootleg, but I want that real shit because yeah, <clears throat> it's so it's expensive. Soundtrack. Yeah, I, I have the Is soundtrack, it? luckily. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. They, they re released it last year, yeah. thank god, on Blu ray. But um, still, still before that, yeah, before that, my nigga, that shit was expensive, really. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I don't have a hard copy of that shit. I have the soundtrack, but right, I want that movie. I didn't know that. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Yep. Crazy out of print. Yeah, because because I, I remember seeing that movie like all the time because like, it came on. Is it come on cable and shit? But yeah, I didn't know that it was like expensive like that. Yeah. yeah. Crazy expensive. Yeah, that that's a dope movie though. That's very very dope. Oh yeah, man. And like I said, the soundtrack is fucking dope. Like that Spice Wants Born to Die joint. Oof. Oof. Yeah. My Glock screams fire. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, he's a liar. Talk to my, what do you say? Talk to my 380 like a bitch on the stroll. That shit is ill. I love that song. Oof. So dark and fucking gangster. Love that shit. Suppose he didn't have a video for that. I know, yo. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but then again, but then again, at at that time too, he was he was he was on the run too, from the from the feds and shit. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, um, like, because when he was recording the nineteen ninety six album that came out ninety five, which is another underrated album from Spice, that I hear too many people talk about, but um. He was on a run. He had a weapons charge and shit. So that's why he like you know he didn't really promote that album very well. It wasn't promoted yeah. very well. So that's why like you know yeah it is what it is with that. So but it's a great album. A lot of that shit. Oh uh, yeah, great album. Suck mm-hmm. MC cover shit. fire. What album? What what song? The suck MC's cover he did on that shit. That shit's oh, fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, Chris, you like that fucking cube? Chris? Nigga probably knocked out. But yeah, I, didn't, <laughs> I, I don't like that album. You hear that shit, Steven, yet? I didn't, I didn't get to hear it yet. I gotta check yeah. it out. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Yeah, it's not that good, bro. I'll oh, keep, keep, yeah, so... <laughs> But I wasn't expecting yeah. that. I love that new fucking dog. That shit is crazy. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he kind of surprised me with that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, same here. I don't know what happened? Probably his computer fucking up or something. Probably. He, he, he bounced, but uh, yeah, man. I don't know, dude. It's just like same old, same old with this nigga Cube. Like same. Lackluster rhymes, lackluster production, uh, mm-hmm. doing trap shit but not rapping good is just not good. I don't like it at all. 
he just, you know, he's all about the money. So it's like he's going with the times, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, that's what that's what I, I fucking hate about hip hop, man. It's like these veterans, man, they try to follow with the times, but you don't see like rock artists like you don't see Metallica or Slay or Judas Priest doing that shit. Nah, they do what the fuck they they have their core audience and they make the shit that they know that their friends gonna love, you know? That, yes, so true, Steven, because Priest dropped firepower this year. That shit is traditional metal. Bang, you know, they didn't right. do no fucking corny emo fag shit. They they kept it real, <laughs> rhymy metal shit. You know, like not this these rap niggas, man. They were just giving us that fucking trash a lot of times, man. Right, right, these, right, these right. Niggas, you know, like come on. So is is that the wave right now? Right, in rock in the rock, in the rock world right now. Oh, like this emo shit. Yeah, yeah, it's that, and it's like this, just terrible, um, death metal, and it, it, oh my god, it doesn't even sound good. Like the instrumentation is just trash. It's fucking. It sounds like commercialized death metal when death metal is supposed to be grimy. Um, yeah, it, like the so called metal core. That shit's trash. You just m- rock music, metal music is not good today. That shit is basura. That's some. Like the band Orchid, because they, they sound like fucking Sabbath. They're paying homage to Sabbath, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. That's yeah, dope. Municipal Waste. They, they sound like fucking old school Anthrax and shit, Metallica. So they're dope. But other than that, there's not too many bands out there. Uh, Night Demon sounds like old school Maiden. But you, you got to sound like an old school band to right, even get right, my attention. Right. I hate to say it, but it's true because it, it's trash. I, I listen to. 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s rock music, you know, and metal. Oh, same, same. You know, this new shit's trash for the most part. It's just, it's just <clears throat> so sad, man. It's like I really try to give these people a chance, but it's just not. It's just not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Super facts, my dude. Yeah, man. Been a big police move lately too, man. So, well, I was just I was just about to mention that to you. So, when do you want to do that? Anytime is good for me. Okay. I'm um, just letting you know. Okay. I'm down for okay. that, definitely. You know. Yeah, I gotta revisit the um, like um, Ghost and Machine and Synchronicity. I I know pretty well, but my hey, my guy, what's good? What's up, bro? I got keep off. Yeah, that's oh, it. yeah, cool. I, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Ghost in the Machine mm-hmm. is so fucking good, Jesus! Oh man, darkness, everything, everything she does is magic. Like all oh, that shit. Oh man. man, I love that album, man. Living the material world. Yeah, whoo, fire. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, I just gotta revisit the earlier albums because I'm not too. I mean, I, I, I know them, but I don't know them like I know Sickenocity and um, Ghost in the Machine. Ghost. Yeah, see, you're, you're, that's your favorite? My, my favorite's the first three. The first? Okay. Yeah, okay. Outlandish, Outlandish the more um, Regatta de Blanc and Ziada Mandata. But I might Re- like Regatta, Ghost in the Machine. Go, go ahead. Regatta de, Regatta de Blanc, that, I like that. I like that album. That's very dope. Message in the yes. Bottle, Man in the Moon. Oh, my God. God, five. The, the bed is so bed is so lonely without you and shit. Oh yeah. Listen. Yo, Stuart Copeland, what a fucking drama that nigga is. Man. Yeah, Whew. the only uh U.S. nigga in the group too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Beat the fuck out of those drums, Jesus. Yeah. Like a lot of those life comes from like the late seventies, early eighties. Is fire, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You no, know, what I love on uh, synchronicity, that 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 murder by numbers. Ooh, that shit is fire, man. Ooh. Great yeah, song. It's a laugh. Yeah. Great song. Wrapped wrapped around yeah. your finger. Oh, I love that. T in the yeah. Sahara. Oof. Oh, that's fire. T in the Sahara. Ooh, yeah. 
Lot of large that's the, shit. That's the only that's the only album I need from them too. Like physically. See, yeah, I, get I, that. I got those on I got those on vinyl. I don't have them on CD. I actually have those on vinyl. Oh, that's dope. You got them on vinyl? Yeah. That's ill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put Ghost in the Machine over the Yadam and Dada. I'm gonna put that over there. Word. You know, yeah, I love that. Uh, yeah, Zenyatta, Ma, um, what, what was it called? Zenyatta, what? Mahada? Zenyatta Mandata. It's good. That album is hard to fucking say, dude. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first three, but, too. Jesus Christ. But it's like that album is it's mostly instrumental, though. Yeah. So. Canary in a coal mine. That shit is fire. I yeah. love that song. Yeah. You, you like the police, I, Chris? Yeah, well, uh, I know some of these songs. I haven't heard like none of the albums. Yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. Have you, Mike? Have you ever peeped like Sting's uh, solo albums? Never. Are they good? Yeah. They're an acquired. They're an acquired taste. Yeah. They're an acquired taste. Like it's like what I mean by that. Like um. Like the first album, The Dream of Blue Turtles, that came out in 85. Is is um if you like like synchronicity, then you would like that album, but it's like more on a pop end of things. Yeah. Now the second album, which that and um his um Ten Summer Tales, those are my favorite albums. Um Nothing But the Sun that came out in 87. That dope, that that shit is dope. I love that album and um, Ten Some of the Tales that came out in '93. Those are my favorite solo albums from Sting. But um, I'll check those he out. got some joints. He got some joints, man. Like um, he went through some shit because like I think like '86 he lost his mom. His mom died, I think from cancer. And then like in '87, I think like a couple months, like nine months later or a year later. He lost his dad. Oh shit! Yeah, so it was just like you can just hear the pain in it, this thing, his voice in the in the music. It's dope, though. I'll check that out for sure, definitely. Especially recommended yeah. from you, so yeah, you know. yeah, definitely. My so yeah, you ever see the documentary that Stuart Copeland did? No, I, I I'm not hip. I gotta check that yeah. out. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, I'll send a link. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They hated each other, man. I heard, like, I heard. Like they're, <laughs> them niggas beat the shit out of each other. It shows it, too. That's crazy. Yeah, Stu Stuart Copeland and, and Sting, mainly. They were throwing fucking hands, man. Yeah, but Sting, he, he's a prima donna, though, man. He, oh, he, that yeah. Nigga, that's what, like, that's what Stuart really... Copeland was saying. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you, you could tell though. You could tell, like Stuart, like you could tell that you know Sting is like everything has to be perfect. Like you can't can't do no mistake. And I get it. Like he he has a right to do. Like he makes tremendous good music, man. But it's like holy shit. And Andy Summers seems like the nicest guy. Him and Stuart Copeland, they seem like the nicest. Yeah. yeah. Fucking love that band. Yeah. Man. I'm above the rim versus boys in the hood. Boys in the hood, but I love above the rim though. Yeah, boys in the hood, yeah. Boys in the hood. RJ Voorhees said, Yo, Mike and Steve, you guys have mentioned Kalito's way in Ghost Dog. From what I found out, that big Italian dude in jail who Sean Penn came to visit was also in Ghost Dog. Didn't even know that until after he was on the mob, one of the mob men trying to kill Ghost Dog. He killed the old man, which kind of funny, but fucked up what he said. It looks like the guy, the guy's boss shot him. I think that's what he said. Yeah, I gotta, oh, I gotta rewatch yeah. Ghost Dog. Yeah, I gotta yeah. rewatch that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Jason's yeah. the best Tupac movie. Hmm, juice, juice for me. Yeah, juice. Yeah. yeah. Above the rim, he did his thing too on that birdie. Oh yeah, birdie and hell yeah. 
I love what he wore to the camo with the fucking rusty Tims. That shit was yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, then Momo, he went back to his roots, man. His yeah. New York roots. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 Doug Life Tupac era right there. Oh yeah. On depression, nigga. Mm-hmm. Oh, what that oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Woo. I know, I know, I know. It's trouble. We should review Thug Life because niggas don't put respect on uh, Ooh, Thug yeah, Life. Yo, yo, I'm down. Let me know, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Let me know. Oh, Chris, I'm glad you're yeah. here. I'm glad both of you guys are here, right? Uh, so I posted, I posted the status on Facebook the other day. You know what? You know, what, like it's something that I've read. Um. One of the magazine scans that Nori said about how um you know he's naming like some of the um some of like the cities in New York and shit like that. Um you know, like you said like, you know, um Queensbridge is like Kuwait, Left Frack is Iraq, you know, shit like that. So I posted that as a status, right? And I had this one young dude, man. Um yeah, he was just saying like how Queen, like New York is soft and it's not what it used to be and blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to explain to him like, yeah, it's not what it used to be, but it's not, it's far from soft. Right. And it's like, yo, I'm asking like, yo, what was the last thing you went there? It's like, and he couldn't even tell me. He's like, oh, I go there all the time. I'm like, I bet you won't say that shit that what you said. It's like, oh, uh, I already did, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and it had this, yeah, and they had this one dude like, you know, Shout out to my dude, grimy rapper. He cool dude and shit. But it's like you know he's from, from he's from Europe and shit. And he's like he's so obsessed with like '90s hip hop, like you know New York '90s East Coast hip hop and shit. Right. Like he's, he's '90s hip hop in general, and he's just going by you know what they put like on um you know New York Times like with the stats and stuff like that. Right. But I'm like dude, like not everything is reported that happens. Like crime happens every day. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was trying and, to explain to them. And who the fuck are you to tell a New Yorker how New York is, you motherfucker? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. I'm pretty sure niggas will put the blicky on you, son. Yeah, still. You know right. what I mean? So, so. Ugh. And I bet, I bet Chris can speak for that. Go, 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 go ahead, Queensbridge, Queensbridge is still Queensbridge. Like, there's no white people moving into those projects. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's certain areas, you know, in New York, that they're still the same, you know what I mean? So it's right. not like, like like we just went soft totally, and you know everywhere is gentrified. That's that's not the case at all, right? You know, you go to go to Queensbridge at three in the morning, see what happens. Exactly, <laughs> niggas like cap you. You be walking out with your boxes, niggas. Yo, trust. Yes. And I ain't talk, but I know niggas get down. My best friend's from New York, so right. niggas like gap you in a minute. And I'm not doing three in the morning, you know. And also, too, like I, I, I was trying to explain to them, like how, you know, like they, niggas just think like New York is just like the far boroughs. I'm like, dude, like you gotta think about like upstate New York, like you got like yeah. Troy, you got Nyack, you got um, you know, um, Albany, Buffalo, um, you know, Poughkeepsie, and all these other places. There's some joys over there too. Like Rochester, like that's a yeah. bad over there, son. Mm-hmm. That's where um little Edo's from and shit. Rochester, yeah, and a nigga pounds too. Yeah, wow. in Rochester too. Yeah, you, like like Albany, that's the capital of New York. Albany, that that's got some hoods. Um, mm-hmm. Syracuse. There's some parts of Syracuse yeah. is kind of crazy out there too. Yep. That's what Shawn Michaels then, got his fucking head busted in '95. Oh <laughs> shit! What? Yeah, these these niggas jumped him in '95 at a nightclub. Yeah, man. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Sure that pisses, I'm not even talking. That pisses me off, yo. You know? No, nah, it's stupid. But that nigga, I'm deleting that nigga. So. You oh know, yeah, like, block. Yeah. I'm done. Steven's seen this. I want to talk about this a little bit too. Steven's seen this. Son, I know it's the holidays. Trust and believe. Okay? Yeah. But when your mail comes at fucking 11 to 12, you're expecting that time. Right. 
And I know my driver be on some bullshit because this motherfucker be forgetting packages. I have to call the post office and all that. You know what wow. I mean? So I'm like, yo, this nigga taking forever. And this stupid white bitch, man, I used to fuck with. You should know back in the day. Now, now she, she works at the post office now. She's like, well, me being a supervisor, I can tell you. They got families to get home to. I'm like, what the fuck is that going to do with my package? <laughs> Man. You know what I mean? And bitch, you never you never talk to me. You never uh like my status, just comments. You get you you fucking eighty six the fuck out of here. You know? Yeah. You stupid ass bitch. Get out of here. Oh man. You seen that status, Steven? You see what I said? Yeah, yeah. 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 That is annoying, dude. You don't talk to me but not what something under your skin. You gotta say something, right? Man, Jesus Christ. Annoying, dude. I'm pretty sure you waiting for a package. You be mad too, bitch. So shut the fuck up. Shit, I'm I'm still <clears> waiting <throat> for my worst pro album, the LP. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah, cause like I fucking um, cause what's his name? Um, Killer Tapes. He got his shit. Like he is a website called Redline Music, uh, Big Cartel. Um, they yeah. had that shit in stock, and I I ordered that shit on the 23rd of last month. So I actually emailed the dude, like, dude, like, yo, I ordered my shit. You guys received the order on November 23rd, and it's December 10th. Like, what the fuck? Okay. It's like, oh, we look into it, my guy. Like, I, I need to know, like, are you guys shipping it out? Or like, you know, what the fuck? That's annoying, bro. Yeah, I'm going to text him tomorrow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to um, email him again tomorrow and like, see if it was good, because that's, that's fucking ridiculous. That is ridiculous, my nigga. I've been there. Yeah. I'm still waiting on that 9 Cloud 9 that Ross got me, but I understand because that's fucking UK and shit, so. Nah, but that should have been came, though. Oh, facts. Like, good, good, good fellas. Yeah, that took a long time. You know what that's, I mean? That's crazy, man. Now, how long has it been? It's been a long time. He, he said, he gave me the time frame. Like, if it, if it ain't here by December 20th, I'm going to hit him up. You know? Yeah. When did he ship it out? Shit, I gotta go on Twitter. I, I somewhere between uh, the fire. I, I can't remember, Stephen. I can't remember. I it, but I, well, I do remember the the due date to be here is the December twentieth. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, sometimes I I I buy I get shit from you know from the UK and stuff because you know the prices. Sometimes the prices be cheaper and shit. Mm. And like the longest I've waited for something like a CD, probably like three weeks. That's like the longest I've I've waited, maybe three, maybe a month, maybe. And that's pushing that, but yeah, most of the time, you know, most of the time it's be like you know around three weeks. I've noticed that, but you know, it. I guess it depends on who you buy it from, who you get it from, and. The, the post office and stuff like that, you know, so. Yeah, the longest I waited for that fucking true. Oh, my God. From Canada? Oh, you got that song in Canada, right? Yeah, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Ghost paid killer. Never seen this nigga before. Oh, Ghost is Killer. Hey, well, this nigga. Above the Rim soundtrack versus Murder was a case soundtrack. Above the but, Rim. Above the Rim for me. Yeah, Above the Rim. C- cassette version. <laughs> yeah. Because it got pain. Right. I love that song. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Murder was the case was dope. That that was dope. But um, um, there were a couple of songs I could have done without. But other than that, it was, it was a dope. Song. Yeah. I hate when like gangster rap soundtracks, like from gangster movies, got nothing but like a slew of R and B on there. Man, I'd be like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with nineties R and B. I love it, but come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Like, with the murder was the case, like, you know, they had that DJ Quick 
um, dollars and cents is joint he did um this and on MC8. Yeah. But I prefer the one on Safe and Sound over the one about oh. the um yeah. Same. The only difference is the beat. That's it. Yeah. Fire shit. <laughs> And I prefer the murder was the case on Doggy Stem over the remix. That's just me. No, I'm with you, bro. The Doggy Stem uh, version is superior, far superior. That beat, like every time I hear that beat, it's like I get goosebumps. Mm -hmm. We've been getting a lot of good compliments about the Chronic review too, man. Oh, that's dope. That's fucking dope. And that was, that was before you went to the Art Basel. Like we we wing that shit, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I've, I've, cause when you told me that, I was like, I was listening to a little bit of the album, and then I just took like what I remember from what I did from my review and shit. So yeah. I thought it was dope. It, it came out dope. There's certain albums I can do that way. I can do it with Doggy Style, right? But... I can do it with a lot of. Albums. How how was that album by Nate Dogg? The joint that that double disc album he dropped in ninety eight. It's kind of a distant memory of me. I gotta revisit it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I haven't heard that album. I want to check it out though. Yeah, you know that shit, Chris. Nah, I haven't heard that one. I heard the first one. Uh, music was it music and me? Yeah, that's, that that's the second joint. That's that that came out like um two thousand one, but he came out with the album before that. It was like a double disc album. It came out in ninety eight. It was supposed to come out in 96, but it got pushed back to 98. Yeah, G-Funk Classics? Yeah, G-Funk. Mm. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. Mm. Of course, they went, nobody does it better. I don't know that shit. Yeah. Great song. What these niggas is talking about? Sharon Ash, the fuck? <laughs> Buffalo's uptown. I don't know what the fuck that nigga's talking about, man. Which movie has the best opening? Menace to Society, Belly or Painful? Belly. Yeah, Belly's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll go menace. Mm -hmm. I love that. This shit is grimy, man. Yeah. Yeah, Sam Jackson, yo. Jesus Christ. You played that role so well. Kane. Classic, man. Yeah. When Kane's a little kid, he's on a porch with them but uh them, them them niggas, man. That shit had me dying, man. It's probably here for grown folk. <laughs> <laughs> little old nigga. Yeah, <laughs> classic. Mm -hmm. That is my favorite hood movie of all time. It is. Man, that is for me. Yeah, yeah, for me, definitely. Not yeah. three. That yeah. shit is incredible, man. Those soundtrack too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Love that shit. Very, very eclectic as far as like hip hop. You know I mean, I like, well, of course, they got East Coast joints too. Right. Yeah. Me. This nigga Ricardo, where's this nigga? You got his number, right, Mike? Yeah, hit this nigga up. If he's uh, let's see. Y'all seen Straight Outta Brooklyn, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I gotta revisit that too. Great, 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 great movie. So yes. underrated. Mm hmm. You can tell it was made low budget too, but it's still great. 
Yeah, definitely. Mm. So fucked up what happened in the end, though. Right. I can't even remember, Monday. I need to watch that tonight. Uh, we always in the morning. I watch it. Yeah, definitely. Such a sad movie, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Red Hook Projects, man. Jeez, crazy. Red Hook. Yeah, the homeless sons of man. Oh God. Carmelo Anthony. Classic. Yeah. Are you some Red Hook? Yeah. Oh shit. Yep. Eight Mile versus Give Us That Trying. Eight Mile for me. Eight Mile. Yeah. Give Us That Trying. I. It's okay, but I can't. That's not for me. Terrence Howard, man. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he was such a bad pick for that movie. I'm sorry. <sighs> God. Yeah. What country bumpkin ass nigga? I, I I just can't picture that. And, oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Trent, he was a that's, that's a terrible pick, man. He's like, come on, bro. come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, my oh man, <laughs> it don't fit, it don't fit with like a grimy East Coast nigga like Fifty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Could have been like uh oh the nigga that played Omar on the Y. I forgot the nigga government, but Oh um Michael K. Williams, yeah. Yeah, that nigga that fit perfectly. Oh, no doubt. Mm-hmm. But I think they, they chose Terrence Howard, you know, for like comic relief and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think that's why they did that, but dope soundtrack though. I I'll give oh, it that. God, I love that. What if Hustle's ambition? Oh my god. <laughs> Shit is fire, man. Yep. When those stop boy. Yeah. Know that I win. Fire. Yeah. I got that motherfucker the other the, the other couple months back. <laughs> I need to get Young Buck's uh Strata Casual album. Oh god, I love that album. Yeah. So fucking that, good. That Welcome to the South shit. Whew. Oh, my God. That's my favorite song off that album. Yeah, Banner and Flip. That shit's fire. Yeah. That's that uh, yeah. cut up triple beam, coke on triple beam type shit right there. Mm-hmm. And Dan, who did that beat? David Banner? Who the fuck did that? I can't remember. Uh, um, Red Spider did the beat. Red, oh, God. Yeah, Red Spider was amazing. Yeah. Red Spider. I love that Gina era, man. That shit was flames, man. Oh, yeah. No, that's a fact, man. Hell uh, yeah. With the exception of Beg for Mercy, but other than that, <laughs> I, yeah. I love Beg for Mercy, Steven, but you know what? Yeah. I, I, I get what you mean. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. There was a couple of songs I liked. Like, I like my buddy. That was my yeah. shit. Oh, my God. Buddy. I love it. The song is my so buddy. good. Woo. That beat is crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ricardo said it'll be on less than 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. No doubt. Yeah. Oh, KRD, dope question, man. Um, 187 or higher learning? 187 for me. I love that movie, man. <laughs> higher learning. Higher, higher learning for me. Higher learning. Right, learning, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with 187. I think, I think, I think Ricardo will go with me with 187. But that shit is fine. Have y'all seen that movie 187? Yeah, yeah. yeah Samuel Jackson, the teacher and shit, and yeah, that was good. That shit is grimy. That shit is dark, son. Like holy yeah. shit. I think Ricardo said he hated that movie. Really. Yeah, I think he did. Oh, I gotta ask him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he he's gonna have to explain himself when he come on here because that shit. Is- 
<laughs> one of the niggas that played uh, one of the Joker brothers is in that movie. Next Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love Dangerous Minds too. That shit is amazing. I love that movie. Oh, that joint with um, yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was dope. The principal, that shit's fire. Oh, I love that. Yo, the principal, I love that movie, son. That's my favorite movie with Jim Belushi. Yeah. Yeah. Love that movie, man. He played Great that shit movie. so well. Yeah. And uh, Michael Wright, that played Ray Nathan, he played the villain, man. Uh, Vincent, yo. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah that, I love that movie. Grammy ass high school. Yeah. Jay says, do you guys like the game is to be sold, not to be told? I don't I don't, but that's just me. I do. Yeah. That Snoop album. Yeah. I, I gotta yeah. I gotta check that album out. I still haven't checked it out, but I heard good things about it. Yeah. I'm a no limit, you know, big no limit fan, so Right. I'm pretty sure I would like that album, but um I did like last the last meal. That was fucking dope. That that's my second favorite album from um Snoop Dogg, believe it or not. Me it's no limit top dog, but the last meal is right after that for me. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. I got this hand in my cup and this Buddha got me stuck. <laughs> that shit is fire. Cocaine and Snoop, man. Mm hmm. That's the Hennessy joint. Yeah, the Hennessy, Buddha and Hennessy, Hennessy and Buddha. Something yep. like that. <clears throat> In too deep a state property. In too deep. I love state property, but in too deep, yeah. Yeah. I'm God. Yeah. <laughs> Dope soundtrack, too. Mm hmm. Yes. How about Out of Sync? God. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, that scene, though, man. Like, when the girl, when the dude was eating the girl's pussy, <laughs> they cut that nigga yeah. tuna and shit. You're like, holy shit, son. My Jesus. Say probably some, too, man. like say probably the first one, like that sounds like it's dope. So niggas sleep on that. Oh shit. yes, probably. rock the mic, like because people only think of rock the mic now, but they got some shit. Like don't realize, um, international hustler. Yeah. Ooh, oh, fire! Yo, son, that's yo that. Whew. That that's when that's when Rockefeller meant everything to me, man. Yeah. 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 Even the um Pain and Full soundtrack was dope too. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. That uh one one for Petey Crack is incredible, oh, man. Oh Lord. Jesus. And then Mac goes, Ring. Petey was my favorite member. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. It's a shame he never came out with an album though, man. I know. Niggas, are, niggas ain't. Go ahead, Steve. No, I was just saying, Jay hating and shit, man. Oh, oh, definitely. Jay was hating on uh, Dipset dip dip when them niggas stepped through the door. Yep. Crazy. Crazy yeah. Be Beanie Siegel snapped the uh, the the old boy, not the old boy. My bad. The um, the one for PD crack version with Cameron on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said yeah. that um. Yeah, he, he mentioned that because um, he did a uh interview with Doggy Diamonds. He mentioned that too. Yeah. That's some foul shit. Jesus. Yeah. Man, Beans. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he did this one song with Memphis Bleak. It's like it's not a, it's not an album cut. It's like um, it's like a Lucy. It's like an unreleased shit it's called a Thousand Bars. Oh my god, that shit is fire! Yeah, 
Oh, I never heard it, Steve. What, what year? Um, come on. I want to say like ninety nine, two thousand. It's like around. It's around the truth era. All right, I'll check that out, man. Yeah, it should be on YouTube. It's called a thousand bars. Thousand bars. Yeah. yeah him and Blake's chemistry was crazy too. Jesus. Oh my god. Who the fuck want what? Yeah, it Doggy should pop style, up. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. I gotta work on my list in the top twenty five albums of the year. Uh-huh. You know, unless some nigga surprises niggas at a surprise album. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll wait a little while to see what happens. But, but I still need to listen to the. Go ahead, Chris. I still be speaking for him. I know what the fuck you probably dropped. He's yo, son. Them conglomerate niggas are booty, my nigga. <laughs> Ot Genesis and that prayer dude. That shit is trash. <laughs> Not yeah. even a snippet with Lord Have Mercy rapping. Oh, this shit is fire. Right. That nigga still got it. That's dope, man. That's fucking Hell dope. Yeah. Yeah, I'm he... listening to him. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, um, he had his own thing going on. Um, Ice Pirate, whatever the shit was called. Yeah. Fuck it, uh. I was gonna say the fucking um, I didn't listen to the Master Ace and uh, Marco Polo yet. In yeah. Brooklyn, solid. Earl sweatshirt. I didn't hear that either, but I'm I'm not too. I like Earl, but yeah, I, I ain't really like, hyped to hear that. <laughs> no, so let's hear that one kind of. What happened? Smith and Wesson. They got an uh, album coming out. Oh shit! Oh yeah, with um, Knife Wonder, the whole album. Yeah, you know, he's doing the whole beat. He's doing the beats for the whole album. Yeah. What's that dropping? I think it's on Friday. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah they got a the Friday on the show. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got a video out already for that album. It's it's actually pretty yeah. good. I'm like, okay. Yep. It's not the typical Knife Wonder. Beat that we know is like it's actually something different. Like, yeah, if you was to come out today, like, damn, you would think this thing is like a new producer, like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like, he really evolved, and you know? he's not on his old sound, like he, you know, that fully loop shit, you know. Yeah, ninth is ninth is dope, man. Oh yeah. I, I like I like Ninth Wonder, but how you how me and you might feel about Black Dot, that's how I feel about Ninth Wonder. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> I love Black Dot, but like come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel about Ninth Wonder. Black Black put out thought the nigga thought put out some lackluster shit this year. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. That those EPs did nothing for me. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Like, I'm getting about- No, 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 no doubt. Because like it's people they put too much hype around that shit, and it's like when you listen to it, it's like nigga, really? Facts. Like uh, he know he don't know Illadelf shit. He don't know uh, things fall apart shit. So right. you know. I hope in here. I have the time to listen to all those Snoop's albums. Most of them aren't worth it. Mm. I disagree. There's a lot of shit I ain't listened to yet. I ain't listened to No Malice in Wonderland. I ain't listened to Ego Tripping or not. Why well, didn't I listen to that? My bad. I ain't like that shit at all, though. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it. I ain't like it. You throw it away? Nah, I didn't throw it away. I don't do that no more. I don't throw it away. Uh-huh. I would have learned my lesson after 
<laughs> After the, the ones I threw in, and now they like out of print. <laughs> and he, what, what you threw away was fire too, so I don't, I don't get that. But yeah, it's okay. yeah, there was a dark side in one of them. No, I didn't throw that away. Oh, you didn't throw it away? Okay. I just don't. I just don't think it's a classic album, but I like some songs on it. No doubt. No doubt. I could respect that. Project Funk the World. That that shit. Yeah. Woo. That one I, I threw away. Oh man, Chris. And it was a CD too. Oh my lord. Yeah. That took me for years to get that. Yeah. I just never had the luck to get that shit. You know, I, I had the tape, I had the cassette. Man. You know, but the CD wise, that took me a long time, man. Yeah, I, I got lucky with that only because um what made me get that shit was because his because of his verse on a special delivery remix. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. Like mm-hmm. it was something it wasn't like the most spectacular, but at the time like I thought it was. Man. But then as you get older when you listen to it, it's like this it's, it's cool, but that gave me inspiration to go find that album. And I remember, and mind you, this is like O2, and this was the album was very hard to come by. So I looked oh, yeah. all over to Nigga Avenue, on to Green Acres Mall, um, at the FYE there. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ricardo, my guy. Ricardo. Yo. What's good, brother? Nigga, yeah. there you go. What up, fellas? Good, what bro. up, brother? Chilling, man. Just got home. Yeah, that Craig back was hard to find, Stephen. Because even back in the day, when I was like, like getting all my CDs, like you know what yeah. I mean, like mm-hmm. uh, when I had a cassette to CD, like turn over. It's a classic album, but I like some songs. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> the world, that, that shit. Yeah. That one I went after the Oh, man, Chris. I, I hear a playback. What the hell is that? He don't have what album? Yeah. That took a few years to get that. Hey, Ricardo, you got your mic muted, brother? No, can y'all hear me? I just never had the luck to get yeah. that shit. You know, I, I had the tape. I had the cassette. Yeah. You know, yeah, but the CD one, that took me a long time. Yeah, what the hell is it? Yeah, I, I got lucky with that only because um, what made me get that shit was because his because of his verse on a uh, special delivery remix. Yeah. Oh, I was like, holy shit! Like it was something. It wasn't like the most spectacular, but at the time, like I thought it was. But then yeah, as you get older, that's it. That's just cool. Like, yeah, that Yo, that album, man. I See, you can mute that. Like, is that, that you? Oh, or who the hell is? Yeah, that's me. My bad. That was very hard. There we go. My bad. Go. <laughs> I apologize, fellas. Yo, my it's it's all good, good my nigga. So good, but uh, right. yeah, I, I couldn't find that for shit, my nigga. But then I finally got it like last year. You know. Okay. How much you pay? What for album it? was that? Uh, Craig Mack, Project Funk, the World. I don't have any Craig Mack. Yeah, that was fine. Well, I got the, I paid uh really cheap money, like eleven dollars. Oh, that's time. great. That's and sick. the nigga, and the nigga was like, "Yo, it's not the BMG version, like advertised." I'm sorry, you can pick two free CDs. So I was like, "Oh, good money." <laughs> that nigga was cool as fuck about that. <laughs> so I got the Beat Nuts Musical Massacre and uh something else I can't fucking remember. Something else I can't remember what it was. <clears throat> Hey, Ricardo, I don't know if I'm mistaken or not, because I think it was Friday we talked about this, but you're not too keen on the 187 film, right? I didn't like it too much. I mean, I, I, it's Ooh. a cool movie, um, but it ain't, like, Cali legit. <laughs> like, really? It's entertaining, I guess you could say it, but, like, when it comes to, like, you talking about, like, a real hood Cali movie, then, yeah, you want, like, a blood in, blood out. Right, 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 right. Be that local stuff like that. Um, they all exaggerated the shit out of how the essays are in Cali or how the schools are and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody be acting like that in school. Like, nah, they really over exaggerated the shit out of it. It was crazy. Right, 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 right. But I mean, it's still a cool movie. I I watch it from time to time. It's it's not 
in my top 10, 20, 50. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the substitute oh, is man. fucking funny, man. I love That's the a, substitute. That shit's yeah. hilarious. It is. Yeah. Nigga, the, the, the principal was a dirty nigga and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. That shit was hilarious, man. He, yeah. he had Mark uh, Anthony trying to be a yeah, gangster. Like, yeah, bro. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Those spoiled little Puerto Rican. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. Substitute was cool. The sequel, I watched part two. That shit was trash. I never watched the other ones. That's usually yeah, the case trailer. With a lot of movies, man. A lot of sequels be trash and shit. I, I mean, when it comes to Cali, like as far as essays, yeah, Blood and Blood Out, Navidad yeah. Loca. Those are like legit movies. Me yeah, familia, yeah. which isn't really a cholo type movie, but right, it, it right. represents the Hispanic culture very well. Right. I gotta check out that. What's it called? La Vida Loca. Say that shit. La Vida Loca. Yeah. Um. That's on YouTube actually for free, man. I'll, I'll shoot you the link. Yeah. Some nigga was talking about that shit when we did Juice earlier. So. Yeah, it's a cool. Yeah. Um. The acting is all right. The the thing was is they used like ninety five percent of them people were real. Essays from that hood, even the girls were. I think oh, wow. out of the girls, only three of them were actresses. The rest of them, or four of them were actresses. The rest of them were real from the hood. And That's dope. The, that movie was like during a time where Echo Park, before you know all the white people started moving in there, um, when they had their premiere, they had to like sneak the the actors in, and a lot of the essays that were in the movie because. The rival gangs were threatening to shoot up the movie. Oh Damn. shit! Yeah, yeah, it, it was that. It was it was the nineties, man. L.A. was crazy in the nineties. Cali. Yeah, I, was was, gonna, I was I was gonna say that was ninety three, right? That movie came out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ninety three, ninety four, somewhere around there. It it was meant to be a, a HBO miniseries, and oh, uh, they did three three episodes and never did anything more than that. So it was released as a miniseries on HBO. You know, one week, one episode, and uh, but in theaters, it was out here in Cali in theaters as a whole movie. Oh shit! That's yeah. dope. I, I went to go watch it with my parents as a kid. I remember that. Right. You guys are cool ass parents, man. They over exaggerated the shit out of essays. What yeah. now, my vida loca? No, no, a one eight seven. Mi vida loca was like legit. Right. How life was back then. Yeah. Another good one is y'all. Like I was telling Mike about uh, Road Dogs, and that one yeah, has yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. With um, Clifton Collins. Clifton, yeah, Clifton Collins. Yeah, Clifton Collins. Yeah, yeah. Nico Vargas. That's a good movie. That's like yeah. really on the point. Like them that dudes like, weren't gangbangers. Right? Just three three homies in the hood. They weren't gangbanging. It's not a gangbanging movie. Yeah, that was like what two thousand or some shit like that. Some shit like that. Yeah, dope movie. Yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah go cool movie. soundtrack. Yeah, uh, yeah, big puppet from American Me, and then Boulevard Nights. That's a legit one too about how it was in the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah. Rest, rest in peace, Frog, man. I didn't know he was dead, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah he died in a car accident or some shit like that. Really? Oh, How long ago? Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's crazy because like, cause that they, they filmed that movie in 87. It yeah. came out in 88, but it, the movie was filmed in 87. But um, they, like it was like 89 is when he died and shit. No shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, movie was on Showtime. I was up late last night. And I, st- I didn't even finish it. I just watched like the first... 30, 40 minutes of it. Oh, I love that movie, Colors, yeah, man. Classic. I'll probably finish it tonight. Yeah. yeah classic. classic man. They they yeah. nailed that one on the spot, too, man, as far yeah. as I remember being a kid, like, how ruthless it was, especially in the 90s. 90s was really rough. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can imagine. Yeah. It's, it's calmed down a lot. It still ain't no joke, but it's calmed down. 
I, and I'm glad you said that, Ricardo, because um, I was just telling these cats earlier, man. I was talking about how, um, again, motherfuckers always want to fucking try to like always want to debate me with when it comes to certain shit. Right. Um, I posted a status um like the other day. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. It was yeah, the day before. I, heard you guys heard, I was uh, listening to y'all um, when y'all went live right away. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you are that dude was saying it's not hard anymore or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm like, I'm from New York, man. Like, I keep tabs of what goes on in New York right now. Like, yeah, it's not like the '90s, but it's still not like it's not soft. It's like, and the thing is, people always equate. New York with their five boroughs, like you can't do that because right. you got to do the whole state of New York. You got to think about upstate New York, like Buffalo, Albany, the capital, um, yeah. Troy, um, Newburgh, um, Poughkeepsie, you know, places like that. Right. You know what I mean? And, and they, they, also just, met, they also mentioned LA too. I'm like, every, every place got a hood. Yeah. Every place got a hood. And um, like, like LA. Back back in the nineties, if you were an SA, you if you was from the wrong neighborhood, you're getting blasted. If you was bloods or cribs wearing the wrong colors, it, and even now, not so much will the wrong colors get you blasted, but being in the wrong spot, you better watch yeah. out. And it still exists. It's just people are so fucking naive they, they don't think so. They they right. think it's good now that everything's slowed down. No, you dead wrong. It's just not I guess televised as much as it used to be. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like news rather focus on dipshit Donald Trump than right. the violence going on in L.A., Chicago, New York, everywhere else. They just don't even cover it no more. That and that's why I was trying to tell them too. Like, you know, I'm like, yo, dude, like, not everything is gonna be covered on the news. Like, cause like, I remember back in the early two thousands, like my my hood was still, I mean, still bad now, but it's not as bad as it used to be. But it still got some activity. Right, like there's people that get shot and get killed all the time, and it's not televised, it's not televised, it's not you're not gonna find that on the news. So true, man. I mean, just right now on my way home, I I heard on the I got a news alert on my phone that there was a big shootout right here, not too far on the other side of town, and uh, I guess some cop got shot, some dude got shot, all kinds of shit just happened right now. God damn. Always and I'll be damned if it's just pe- people get brave on the internet, man. Yeah. I'll be damned if some people is it mind you, it's people that's not even from New York. That's a funny part. Yeah. You got somebody from Europe, you got some dude from Europe and then going by stats and stuff like that. And you got some dude from Philly that lives in Charlotte. I'm like, come on, like seriously. I, mean, I, I, gonna, I don't question either, man. I saw that dude get sliced up and everything. Um few months back, where they dragged him out of that bodega, they dragged him out of that store and sliced them ass up. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I saw that video. I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I, yeah, I'll be damned if some foreign ass nigga gonna tell me my, my hood ain't hard. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, you can oh, say whatever yeah. you want, but you ain't gonna go to that hood and say it, though. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, I know... The demographics where I live, what gangs rule, rule what area, and I know just to be respectful that they'll leave me alone if I'm respectful. So I know how to right. act. If you're gonna go around thinking you that six nine fool, good luck. He didn't come to the neighborhoods out here. He went straight to the Beverly Hills Mall and everything. He ain't gonna step in the hood when he was out in L.A. You're gonna get your I ass tossed up real quick. Oh yeah, he didn't go to. The Vadios were all the essays. He didn't even go down Crenshaw, Sloss. He didn't go where the blacks stay at either, or even where the Cambodians are at, because the, they, they'd gut his ass up real quick. All right, Cambodian drugs and shit. I like that nigga, stupid young. That nigga's dope. Him and Mozzie got that dude, man. That dude is bad. Hell yeah. Bye. I haven't heard his new album. It came out last week. I haven't heard it, but man. And, and you know what? In my last army unit, we I had this one homie, and he's Cambodian from Long Beach, and he's like, "Let's go chill in my hood." I'm like, "All right." I mean, if I'm rolling with you, cool. And man, it gets active out there, and I was like, "Damn, I didn't even know they was that active amongst them Cambodians out there." But they don't play, man. 
Yeah, but you got you got to remember too. There's a big Asian community out there too. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like the Samoans and all that shit. So yeah, they get down too. Sure do. Or the chopper from the Asian Crips. Yeah, so, they're crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah, Samoans, man. They they their temper. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> niggas don't play. Yeah, they don't fuck around, man. Yeah, Steven, I, I got to commend you for your patience. I would be barking on some mm-hmm. European nigga telling me my shit ain't popping. Get the fuck up out well, of here. Actually, actually, well, he, he was more diplomatic, but it was the other dude yeah. from Philly. He was oh, that saying, nigga? Yeah, oh, he's he a young, young kid, too. So, But you, you, know, like, like, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Okay, that's fine. All right. You, you, if you say so. <laughs> Cause I say niggas trying to tell me that uh for Rivers soft nigga I was from the most grimiest projects Maple Gardens look it up nigga Maple Gardens projects ninety two to two thousand one niggas were getting yapped for these sneakers I seen this shit you know what yeah. I mean niggas getting buck fifty over a basketball game me and my uncle had to help the nigga like put a, I took my shirt off put it on that nigga because he was like bleeding out you know yeah. what I mean like crazy shit <laughs> real shit niggas yeah. getting bucked at. You know what I mean? Hear gunshots like crazy shit. See, nigga, that's why niggas can never say to us that you know we're soft. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. I, I ain't got a really. When when people say that shit, like, "Oh, you from a soft area, man?" I ain't even got to speak. Go ahead and come over here. That's what I'm saying. I don't live in a rough neighborhood anymore. Yeah, right? same here. Yeah, I, I mean, I came up out of that. You know, I was like Uncle Elroy from next Friday. Once I left the hood, I was gone. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I go kick it over there. I go shopping. All my clothes I buy from the hood. I, I'm always back in there. Almost. Right. I don't forget where I come from. Oh, same. Yeah. Yeah, who wants to be 33 living in the hood? Fuck out of here. No, I mean, exactly, yeah. man. You know, I don't want my kids to grow up seeing the shit I saw. Yeah, facts. Or I don't want them, you know, having to fight. Always just walking home, having to get into one or two fights on the way home. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I did. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I posted a meme just today, I think today on Facebook, man. Like, we didn't talk shit on the internet. We got off the wrong bus stop just to whoop your ass. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> I like that. I was good. We walked all the way home. We didn't give a fuck oh, back yeah. then. So we used to fight in the school. In you front know, of the teacher. Oh, the teacher yeah. can get that shit too. They can get it too. <laughs> yeah. Didn't give a fuck who was around back then, man. You could get it yeah. at any time, man. I told I told Chris about this corny ass nigga, man. This nigga Kevin. Oh, corny Chris. ass Puerto Rican nigga. This nigga trying to instigate between me and my boy Chris. Just trying to instigate shit, right? Mm-hmm. And, he, and I'm like, I'm gonna bust your motherfucking ass. I'll see you after school. It's like, nigga, fuck after school. Just drop that nigga right there in front of the teacher. I don't give a fuck, man. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> niggas will get it popping in school. Like, Steven's right. You know what I mean? Uh, I hate it when motherfuckers, oh, yeah, meet me at the. Nah, dude. It's still <laughs> now, dog. What you it's waiting for? Now, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't get. I see. I like, luckily, I never got into a fight when I moved down here. All my fights was like in New York, back home and shit. Yeah, but, like I used to see people get beef. Like I'm gonna wait till after school. After man, fuck that. Fuck, fuck that nigga up now. <laughs> fuck that fuck now. Either I'm winning or I'm losing. But we fighting now, man. I, ain't man, I got shit to do, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not only that, especially if I knew this dude could kick my ass, man. We might as well get it over with now. I ain't waiting all day for an ass kick. <laughs> huh? That's that white boy shit. Scheduling, get, scheduling <laughs> matchups and shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you, you dark thing, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas just throwing down in school. Like I, I done that shit before, man. All the time. Trust. Yeah. yeah. All the time. These little niggas ain't do that shit. Hate the boss. Be the boss is okay. Y'all was talking about Snoop earlier. Yeah. yeah. No. Snoop is dope. Nah, cause uh, Chase, the homie Chase, he was talking about um. What was our thoughts on um Snoop's third album? Pick um, the game is to be sold, not to be told. Oh my god, here we go, man. <laughs> here we go, <laughs> wolf motherfucker. Wolf. Oh, I hate that song. I hate that song. <laughs> but Jenna Juice, 
part two was dope. That shit is tough. The whole album was dope. Yeah, I love it. I'm yeah, gonna record it. I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. I, I'm pretty sure I don't like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I like it. <laughs> I liked it, man. <laughs> I enjoyed it always. Yeah. Beats by the pound, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, speaking of like No Limit, man, Fiend is coming out with a new album this this Friday, man. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I was just cruising on uh, Amazon and I saw it for pre-order. I'm like, what? And uh, it's called Still Cooking, and he has. He has some dope motherfuckers on it, man. Who did he have on it, man? What what label is it coming out of? I don't even know. I didn't even read that part, man. Okay. But I, I read the track list. I know he he had Wale out of all people on there. That was what? what? That threw me off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo. God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. Go to the oh, test one, dude. I'm sorry. You no. Know? He has Young Buck on there, and uh, Daz Dillinger also. Okay, okay, that's that's and, that's. And Wale, saying, those are only features he has on the album. But um, I, I was on Buck. Amazon, and it's gonna be on Amazon Prime. So if I can't find it at the store, I'm gonna be up in LA on Friday. Then I'm gonna pick Boy. it up on Amazon Prime that day. I'll, I'll listen to it. I'll give it a chance. I'm, I'm more of a fan of the old school No Limit shit, man. Oh yeah, but I yeah. mean, I got some. I like. I've always liked Fiend. He's probably my favorite. Well, no, C Murder is my favorite, but he, he's up there too. Is one of my favorite. Him, C Murder, Mac, and uh, Fiend, my nigga. Yeah. And then and I love you know. Ken, Ken and Abel too because they're, they're New York niggas. I love Ken and Abel. Were they from New York? Yep. Yeah, they're from, from Bronx. Bronx. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Man, my brother's keep is dope. Fire. Love that album. Yeah. Time after time. I love that track. All their weed smoking tracks are fucking retarded, too. I love that shit. Man, but if I had to go like top five soldiers, it'd be C Murder, Mac, Fiend, Magic, and Soldier Rest Slim. Piece of magic. And, yeah, Rest in Peace Magic and Soldier Slim, man. Slim, nigga. A lot of these corny niggas around here, like niggas in my hood back in the day, they were like making fun of the album covers. And I get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, that's pen I, and pixels. I like shit. the pen and pixel cover. Okay. Now, here's a, who had the wackest album cover? Shit. That besides, nigga Big Bad. Besides Game Face. Besides Game Face. Ooh, you already know that was the dumbest shit ever, man. It's like a He's not bootleg. no like Right, no, it sounds like a bootleg Michael Myers mask. <laughs> shit, <Yeah. laughs> nigga, look like Destro from GI Joe and shit. Oh god, <laughs> I know, I know, Chris knows what I'm talking. About. <laughs> Who had the wackest cover though? Shit, that nigga Big Bear. He, I know it wasn't No Limit, but it's Pen and Pixel Two. Yeah, Big Bear, some shit like that. Album's fire though. I like the album, but the, the cover's trash. <laughs> That's had so we got bears around him with bandanas on their neck. Fuck with this. <laughs> Google that. I think the No Limit Hot Dog cover could have been better. Because that like, didn't seem like a pen and pixel. That that seemed like just a, a regular album cover. Yeah, niggas yeah. With, the, with the pit bulls and roddies and the. And the yeah. Uh, that's just five. But, uh, yeah, it could have been a little better. Yeah, I agree. I, I wanted. Yeah, it wasn't your average No Limit cover. Who's your favorite member, uh, Steven? Um, oof. As crazy as my sounds, mystical, man. Mystical, yeah, man. Yeah, mystical, especially, especially like Ghetto Fabulous, Unpredictable. Definitely. His non limit album is Crack Rocks. Yeah. The Minor Mystical, I love that album. Oh, yeah, 95. So I underrated. Think his features were better than his album, so. Oh man, I love that. I don't that know, man. Don't know, Every feature he did for for No Limit, I thought was crazy. Yeah, right. I was looking forward to it. He killed his features, man. Yeah. 
Shell Shock is a masterpiece. I can bump that name time. I fucking love that. And I love how No Limit just kept everything in house. All their features were just soldiers off the tank. There weren't really many features outside the tank. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they, they understood their core, their fans. They understood their fans, man. Nowadays, they don't do that. Everybody try to be all fucking, yeah. you know, everybody getting along and trying to get that bag, like, like how they say these days, man. Like, these motherfuckers didn't give a fuck, man. Like, you know, you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. That's crazy. Thanks. Yeah. I listened to a lot of albums today trying to narrow down this top ten of mine. Oh, for 2018. Man, I gotta. Man, it's gonna be hard to narrow down this top ten. I'm not posting on Instagram because I don't got enough space in my house to do it, I'm a, and I'm a lazy motherfucker. So <laughs> I'll just, I'll just go on YouTube and do it, man. I'm doing top 25, though. I'm gonna cheat, my nigga. <laughs> I, I can't do ten. It's too much fire that came out this year. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could do a top 20, like, for the episode sakes, but, like, on Instagram, I'm going to just keep it at a 10. Oh, doubt. Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. I'm I'm, I'm too lazy to even do that. What? <laughs> like, those IG hip-hop challenges, you pulling my fucking back out, my nigga. I'm like, I haven't I'm done, done one in a long time, man. It's been months. Yeah, I'm yeah, done with I'm that not, shit. I'm not doing that shit. Fuck that yeah, shit. Yeah, Steven is like money man. My nigga money man is like, yo, fuck that shit. I ain't doing that shit. Yeah, fuck I that shit. Forever, man. I, I did last week. They did challenge me maybe like a month or two ago. Yeah. And I just didn't even respond to it. I was like, nah, yeah. I'm cool. I, I got nothing to prove, man. Like, I do album reviews. Like, you know the album reviews I do. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, so, the challenges used to be fun. Yeah. When like motherfuckers was like, your favorite cover with this on it and like it was cool to see people pull the shit out like where you're like damn I forgot that had that and this and that but then they became ridiculous they were doing one just for any little reason corny faggot shit like post an action figure with the CD what the fuck <laughs> <I mean? laughs> seriously game and, or what's his name's rap and snack dude like your favorite trash here. I don't follow that dude <laughs> rap and crap Back is that's his name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that dude's corny as fuck, man. <laughs> he was all over that one girl's nuts. Um mm-hmm. what's her name? That that woo thing shit. I don't know. Who, I forgot her who, name, who, man. You know, five, one of them corny she bitches. She always that- posts how she like beatbox for for Raekwon or one of them fools, and I'm like, oh my god, the video's played out already. <laughs> but oh like, god. for sure on my list, I got Nipsey evidence. Yeah. Uh, August Green, I, I love that album. August yeah. Green is one of them. I think that one was heavily slept on this year. <laughs> Common did his thing on that one. Uh, June on the beat in the Bay Area, he's another one on there. And then uh, the rest of them, I'm still narrowing down. Just probably going to throw on, uh, what's it called? Uh, Flatbush Zombies. Oh, my God. Vacation in Hell, son? Yes. Yes. Oh, Michi Daco. That's my nigga, man. No, Sky Zoo's going to make it for sure. Oh, yeah, that in celebration of us. What yes. else? Man, I, yeah. I revisit that one today, and I revisit uh, Flatbush Zombies again today, and I was like, damn. It was a good year, man. Yeah. Good Flatbush Zombies, year, I nigga. think they're heavily slept on, man. Because they they don't follow the trend of everybody else, man. Exactly. Especially Sky Zoo. Yeah. This Sky's nasty. Yeah. Super humble, man. I met that nigga. Mad cool, son. That was dope. You met Planet Asia, man. Oh man, son! I, uh, yo, whew. I'm still <laughs> shocked about that. Him and Rise Intelligent, man. That's yeah. dope. He yeah. had a, the the was it Golden Buddha? That was dope. 
I didn't care for Mansa Musa or whatever that one was called. Yeah, yeah, I know he's with the Bob. He did two albums this year, so I mean, he he did dope. What? Filthy Rich. Yeah. That's somebody you guys should check out. He's been dropping an album almost every month this year. Gee, I've been that's hearing that name a lot. Filthy Rich. I've been hearing that a lot. Man, yeah, he's huge out here. He's big time. And like all the beef he had with other artists, like that one artist who went and rec- that one artist, I forgot his name, recorded a diss song about Filthy. This is about three years ago. Okay. And um, he went to Filthy's hood to do the video, and he got shot up like a motherfucker, man. He's oh, paralyzed. shit. He's paralyzed because of it. And um, I think it was Filthy <laughs> Rich's brother who shot him up. Wow. That's yeah. beef. F- Filthy, I mean, like, when he was on that show Gangland, they saw him on it. They saw him violating his parole or something like that. He ended up getting locked up because of that. Damn. And then, uh, but he drops mad albums. He works with Mozzie a lot. Um, he has beef with Messy Marv and shit. But Fil- <laughs> Filthy's one of those real ones out here, man. I see niggas beating a pint off that nigga face, man. A pint of blood off that nigga Messy Marv face, man. Taking oh, that, that nigga jewelry and all that ago. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he got he got jumped in Reno, man. They they like took everything from him. Damn, yo. Yeah, but Mozzie just signed him, man. That uh, Messi Marv's cool, but you could tell, man, he's on some drug drugs and uh. But Mozzie just signed him, so I'm curious of what that's gonna be like because Filthy and Mozzie get along, so I'll probably squash it. Hopefully, because I don't know if you guys saw, but. Messy Marv was beefing with some other rapper out there in San Francisco, and he recorded himself rolling in his hood with the chopper and, okay. and pointing it out at civilians out there in the street. And I'm like, no, you stupid. The fuck? You stupid. People don't understand, man. The camera's your worst enemy, man. I, I pee sniffers, man. That's all you need, and you're done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Chance, why'd you delete everything? Chase, Jesus. why'd you delete everything, man? Yeah, man, but all you need is an IP. Ad- I mean, I don't... You People recording fights and everything, man, y'all snitches. That That's all I call y'all, man, snitch. Oh, yeah, niggas pulled that phone. Back in our, oh, yeah. our day, like when we had our little... Backyard boogies and barbecue. You pull out a camera. Oh hell no! You better ask for everybody's permission first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Smack oh, yeah. around. You don't. Don't ever take pictures. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a fact. Yo, Ricardo, what's your thoughts on uh, Mitchie Slick? Is he popping out there like that? Yeah. You know what? He had a little a little buzz. He was like on his way to where Mozzie is at, but Mitchie okay. Slick's out there in San Diego. Yeah. Um, the independent rap game down there is not as big as it is the Bay Area. Okay. Uh, um, but it just looks dope. It's just now he doesn't really even drop. He was like pushing out the trunk for a bit. But now he right. just does digital. It seems like he got a little lazy with it. Okay. Um, but up up north, like I think Mitchie Slick and Filthy Rich got an album together. And he's done stuff with like San Quentin and other guys from up north. Right, but, uh, he's dope. I haven't heard nothing in the past couple years, and I think he released something this year, but it was just strictly digital. Gotcha, gotcha. Because when I think of San Diego rappers, I think of um Jo Felony. I'm gonna yeah. keep it a book. Uh, Jo's cool. Uh, if you're out here in Cali, the most popular San Diego rappers, it, it's the Essays. They run that. Oh shit! Yeah, I I don't think Jo or Mitchie, who else is from out there, has ever made half of what the essays make. They, like, especially in the late 90s, Little Raw, Mr. Shadow, yeah. Little One, all these guys, they had, they was making millions out the trunk, man, like like No Limit mm-hmm. style. Holy it shit. Was, yeah, they, it, it's crazy, but they didn't have, like, barcodes or anything, so it wasn't, it wasn't, um, Official, but like yeah. they, they're still millionaires off this shit. Some of them are, and um, yeah, like back then, if you wanted a good essay rap, it wasn't even LA. It was San Diego that had that shit on lockdown for a while. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, because that little Rob, I used to hear that name all the time. Oh, he's still the biggest essay rapper, like, he's still the biggest one. I was just yeah, listening to him last night. Yeah, especially in the late 90s, early 2000s, I used to always hear that name. Yeah. He's been Mr. around since the early oh, Mr. Shadows, man, since, yeah, since the early 90s. But uh, he stopped gangbanging. I don't even think he really was a gangbanger, but. He stopped okay. playing the gang, and I think that's what retracted a lot of his fans because right. he squashed beef with a lot of enemies of Southern Cali. Gotcha. And, I mean, he's just an old, he's like already in his forties, man. He's too old for that shit. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a, and, um, you know, it, you know, it's crazy because um, everyone OG told me like, yo, if you if you in your thirties and forties, so gangbang, you yo, you 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 look down upon because fuck yeah, man, you, you failed, you know man. You? Yeah, like, yeah, what you should yeah, be doing yeah. is dropping knowledge on these youngsters. Exactly. And but Little Rock, his music still it's okay. It's nowhere near what it was in the nineties. Like, like his album, The Crazy Life, and yeah. and his album, uh, Natural High. Those two are like the blueprint for almost every essay rapper out here. Favorite death row artists. There's niggas that I know that are my age that are still banging folk and shit like that. Like, word like, like, I can't. Niggas is stupid. <laughs> That's great. Well, like, people try to gangbang on me. Like, hey, where you from? I just laugh. Like, dude, you fucking kidding me, man? Fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> I just laugh. Like, one guy at a Carl's Jr., Um, he's like, where you from? I said, and I was like, what? He And then he's like, they call me bumpy i'm from this i said that's cool man do you man like <laughs> yeah. i just laughed at him he's like you think it's funny i said most definitely it's funny man most definitely man i'm too old for this shit man <laughs> you man you better get back for a clap you you know I me mean? yeah you get close enough <laughs> you don't feel these hands dog i don't care what <laughs> so. chase yeah, said, favorite death row artist daz dilly Ooh. Wow. Yeah, it's Dilly. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Kind of... never released an album under Death Row other than Dog Food. But... But just, I'm just going by his, lyric, his lyricism, though. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to pick Dre or Snoop. That's cliche. Yeah. I'll leave yeah. it alone. But I'm going to go with, the, out of the inmates, I got to go with Daz Dillinger because of his production. His flow's still cool, too. Right. <laughs> And Revenge, Retaliation, and Get Back, I thought, classic, underrated. Oh, album. Oh, my. This is going to stop Yeah. I used to play that so much. I love yeah. that album. But I wish Corrupt would have released on Death Row. He, he never did. Right. Yeah, I blame Shook for that. Yeah, Shook should have released the, all them at the time they were hot, but he, he focused on Snoop, and then when Tupac came, it was like, fuck everybody else. It's all about Pac. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard, man. Um, I, I, I would say, like, um, Sam Sneed, man, being Ooh. one of them. Yeah. But nope. see, what, Street Scholars didn't come out till years after the, he was like... That was going to come out like, 96, right? Yeah, and it didn't come out until like 2009, 2008. Yeah. You know, Crooked Eye is another one who was dope. Bro, those years. I'm looking forward to the Suge Knight documentary, though. Yeah, that would be dope. Hey, yo, yo, Chris, I started watching that show. Um, on uh, Showtime, man, that Benicio del Toro. Oh, yeah. You like it? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. I, I binge watched the first four episodes in one day, man. Yeah, it was good. That shit had me hooked, man. That's a crazy yeah. show. Definitely. What the fuck it's is it? What's what that shit called? Escape at Denimora. Yeah. Yeah. About, about those two inmates, they, they escaped that prison uh, about like five years ago, man. Yeah. Four, about four years ago. Yeah, I think it was four years ago. They they had that old teacher bitch in there sneaking yeah. in shit in their like hacksaws and everything so they could escape. Right. Oh 
Oh my god, y'all ever see the East Siders movie, man? That shit was by Suda, nigga. Dumpster juice. Oh yeah. I, I, I remember what, renting it back when that movie came out on VHS. I don't remember finishing the movie. No, I did. Yeah, I did. I think at the end was there a shootout and then they're all like sea walking out of there or something like that. Some crazy shit. I know they break through the uh, stupid jail, some soap or some crazy shit niggas did. Such a classic album, stupid movie. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that shit, fellas? You see that shit, Steven? Yeah, I, I seen it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just went to the bathroom. What we what, what movie? The, the East Side of movie? The, oh no, nah, no, nah, I didn't see it. It's good. Oh yeah. Oh no, no. Trey. No. Oh, right, <laughs> no I'll figure it out. <laughs> you know what, Trey D, he's on uh a bunch of Vlad interviews, man. Trady got some crazy interviews, man. He, I love that nigga. Talking yeah, about is, all these industry yeah, stories. Kind of like how Fat Joe does, but from the West Coast. Yeah, man. Exhibit nah, yeah, was on um, was yeah. on the Breakfast Club today. Who's on that? Exhibit. Oh, shit. They had That's him easy. on there. That was a cool interview. Rest hey, what about the um operation from the bottom, man? They were dope as fuck. Who? O O O F T B operation oh, from the bottom throw. from what? Yeah, yeah, I heard about the catch. They had um, I I mean a few. I have a few like death row compilations that have tracks by them, but yeah. I, I've never seen an album released by them. Okay. <laughs> Tupac shouted him out on "To Live and Die in L.A." Oh, oh that's dope. You know, they 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 did release LBC Crew at the same time they released that Sam Snead album. Right. And the LBC Crew album is dope, man. I love that shit. And when did that come out? Perfect for the '90s, but again, Suge Knight on his bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm glad you. No, I was gonna say like when we was doing the Chronic album, um, I was surprised that Jewel never came out with an album. Yeah, Jewel, Danny Boy would have would have soaked up that R and B game too, man. Oh man, I always say this, but if Lady of Rage would have came out in '94, would have been dope, man. Like, can do a Nate Dog. Nate Dog was was well, man, but you know, yeah, they shook man. Yeah, I see. I see your question, Chase. G Funk Classics versus Music and Me. I, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with G Funk Classics, the double disc version. Um, I'm not too big on Nate Dogg solo albums, though. He was like again better as a feature artist than solo. Right. right. I have both. I don't. It's rare. I listen to them. I still want to hear it though. Like I've heard the music in me. I've I've heard that 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 was good, but um, I still haven't heard the first joint. Um, the G Funk Classics. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to email that one to you, man. No, I'm gonna get the physical. I'm gonna get the physical. I'm gonna... Yeah, I mean the physical doesn't go for much, and it wasn't even Death Row who put it out, man. Yeah, I know it was like a because originally that was supposed to come out '96, but it came out '98. Yeah. Favorite Go get your fucking shine box. That probably has to be my favorite scene. You motherfucking mutt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You make your shoes look like fucking mirrors. <laughs> yeah. They call split shine Tommy. Oh, fuck. That's got to watch- be my favorite scene. That, I love that scene. If you watch it with commentary, that all that shit really happened, yo. Oh um, yeah. Henry, Henry Hill said that nigga Tommy hit the nigga with the gun so hard that shit broke. Shit That's really happened, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. My favorite scene when when Henry, when Henry put the work in on them fucking prep niggas, man. Oh, oh yeah. Pistol with yeah. the shit. Out. <laughs> <laughs> man. How about you, Steven? Your favorite scene on that shit? Oh, uh, man, I have so much. But one of them is it, kind of innocent, but it's kind of funny mm-hmm. at the same time. 
Um, when are we eating dinner um at Tommy's house? And he's like, yo, can I borrow the knife? He's like, oh, make sure you bring it back. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was Scorsese's mom, too. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, yo! That shit is so gangster. Like, oh uh, yeah. Or, or you know what? Another scene I love is when uh, Tommy's dropping off Henry after he's been out all night or like gone for a day or two, and yeah. his mother-in-law starts yelling. He just starts laughing and fucking leaves and goes right back. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's just classic. I adore that fucking movie, man. <laughs> That's in my top three of all time, man. Oh, facts. Nice. Adore the movie. And that was, only, that was only Queens, too. That was in Queens on Long Island, too, so. That's crazy shit. That nigga Maury, man. Jesus Christ. God, yeah. he got my nerves. I wanted to kill him, man. Eh? I would have bodied him a long time ago, man. <laughs> oh, <that was> good. <laughs> Oh shit! Fucking two pairs and shit. <laughs> Mommy's wigs don't come off. <laughs> <laughs> when when Henry like fesses up to Polly and Polly just gives him his money in his pocket, he's like, "Now I got to turn my back on you." Like, yeah, that was crazy because Polly loved him as a son, respected yeah. him. So, like, like DMX, DMX took that into his song. You know, the the best thing I can do is turn my back. I'm not gonna do nothing to you, but I. You're done. Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. That shit is crazy. Yeah, it's like one of those things like, when your mom says that they're disappointing you, and that shit hurts the most. That hurts. Yeah, you you rather be dealt with than than have them just cut you off, man. Yeah, that's that's not a good feeling. You don't want that. Yeah, and, and that's when Henry started crying. Like that that was deep, man. Oh yeah. 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 Slim Shady yeah. LP versus Marshall Mathers LP versus Eminem Show. Slim Shady okay. LP for me. Eminem, Eminem again. Show. Can't go one show without Eminem talk. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> 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 you lost the Mathers LP for me, but uh, hey. I'm burnt out on that album, though. Jesus. Uh, Marshall Mathers? Yeah, because I used yeah, to I think I am too. That's why, like, for the past few months, I've been saying Eminem show. If you yeah. would ask me a year ago, two years ago, it would probably been Marshall Mathers, but yeah. Yeah. I never read Good on your Always keep. Yes. Smart yeah. words, Dirty. Smart words. Yes, sir. The nigga that played Slick, he plays a young Tommy in there. He's in there for like a <laughs> second, but yeah. <laughs> You see yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? They matched them all yeah, perfectly. Perfect. Hell yeah. That's an untouchable was... combination, though. Joe Pesci, De Niro, and Scorsese. You put them three together, you're going to get a classic, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, they did Raging Bull. They did Goodfellas oh. Casino. It's classic. Oh, yeah. Scorsese, taxi Driver. Yeah. Scorsese yeah. and De Niro. Yeah. Mean, mean Streets. Mean, yeah. mean yeah. Streets. A lot of people don't talk about that. Even though that has kind of like a cult following, but over the years I've known it's like in the last couple of years it has somewhat of a cult following, but I didn't really hear too many people talk about that. From my understanding, they did a movie on, or they're they're doing the movie on Jimmy Hoffa, and it's going to be strictly connected. Woo! No so, shit. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Say so every time I watch every every time I watch those movies, I, I it makes me want to eat Italian food. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just went to an Italian restaurant here in my town, um, and, and it's in the hood area, and I guess it's been there forty years. I've never ate there, and uh, oh, we went there, and it. I swear to God, it was so authentic. I was like, man, I'm just waiting to see Michael come out and shoot somebody right now. Like, <laughs> man. <laughs> Next time I go, I'm gonna have to like take pictures or video. They had the music playing and every. I was like, "Yup, look like the scene in Godfather. Michael about to come out and shoot somebody." I fucking worship that movie, son. I adore that movie. What's your, what's, your that. movie? what's your favorite movie? Um, good. Um, God. Uh, Godfather movie. Oh, oh shit! It, it gotta be part one. It goes in that order for me. Part one, two, and three. 
Three is okay. fucking trash. Nah, hey, I think part three doesn't get the respect it deserves. I love that, that shit. Is booty, my nigga. I don't like yeah. it, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm with Mike on that, but I understand it's definitely important to the story. Yeah. But you know how how crooked the church is. I mean, I hate the time gap because you know you get to miss how how Tom Tom dies, Tom Hagen yeah. dies. Yeah. Um, how he gets murdered and everything. Like there, there was so much stuff that happened in between two and three that they left yeah. out from the book because it was in the books. It was just never in the movies. But, Who the fuck but, whacked Tom? Who the fuck killed Tom Hagen? Uh, uh, crime boss in, in Florida that Michael had sent them out there to handle some business, and they fucking whacked him, and they sent um Michael uh instead of like a fish how they did like in part one. Yeah. They sent Michael uh, Tom's wallet along with um, like an alligator head or something like that. Pretty what? much they him to the gators. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. That's how he ended up getting whacked. Uh, it, 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 it ping pongs for me. Two or one. Two or one. Because I fucking. It's quotable for days. It's fucking amazing. Right. You know? Uh, when, when people say like two, two is their favorite, you can't go wrong. That that That's like. Whether you pick one or two, there's no wrong answer. Right. You know, I, I, I did enjoy part three. I loved Andy Garcia. And, you know, it, it was more modern. It it wasn't the 40s or 50s like everybody was used to. It was more like a 70s time frame. And uh, I really wish they would have did another one. Right. To see where, where, where you know, Vinny takes the, the family to. Right. Yeah, because Mike he died. He ended up dying. He died of he collapsed and shit. Yeah, yeah. as an old man, which is crazy because that that's more like his curse, man. He got to w- see everybody die, and yeah. died alone, like he was just by himself. Yeah, it's just, yeah, his little grandson saw that. I'm like shit, man. Yeah, the I mean, the good. The books are good. Like if you read like The Godfather Returns, and there was one more book after that. And it, they're dope. Right. Me and Ross laugh about that scene all the time in Godfather 3, though. He's like, that's not what I wanted. I don't know why. <laughs> that cracks the fuck out, yo. <laughs> they pull me back in. Like, it, it's all right. I, I don't like it that much. I, one and two yeah. are five, man. I'm big fans of those masterpieces yeah. right there. Sonny was that nigga, man. Yeah. Well, hey. Yo. Let's be Sonny, man. Oh yeah, but he gave he gave the nigga Carlo that work. Fuck yeah, yeah nigga dude. that. <laughs> but but Michael got got his back, man. Michael made sure, you know, Carlo went out and everything. And then Clemenza choked that nigga. Yeah. yeah. Fre- right. Fredo was a so. was a bitch though. Oh Fredo, yeah, he's a piece of shit. Come yeah, on, man. Go against your own brother, man. Yeah. I got looked over. I'm smart. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, no, you let Mo Green fuck you around, man. And nigga shot Mo, Mo Green in the fucking eye, man. <laughs> I'm Mo yeah. Green. Yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. Corleone's about to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when, when Sonny got that nigga in the fucking hit him in a fire hydrant and all that, the nigga Carlos. Oh, no, yeah, man. when he whooped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> we gotta review that, yo. We yeah, gotta review that. Yeah. <laughs> yo. Niggas for life or dog food. Chase, I'm gonna go with dog food on that, man. Niggas for life for me, man. Oh shit, that's hard, huh? I'm gonna go with dog food. Oof. Let's go niggas for life by a cunt here, but I love dog food to death. I mean, yeah, both classics. Yeah. KRD said King of New York or State of Grace. King of New York. Ooh, State of Grace is a dope, underrated yeah, movie, man. I gotta go with Frank White, man. Yeah, Frank White. But Gary Oldman, Jesus Christ, he played that role so well. Jimmy Jump with two ratchets on him. Classic King of New York, man. Yeah. Both 1990s, so you're welcome. 
Classic. Yeah. Nas versus Jay Z. We did that last week. Yeah. Watch it. It's, it's fucking Watch fantastic. It. Good, good episode, man. It's great. Oh, yeah. The fuck I look like Joe Necro, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nas versus Jay Z. That, that's going to be one of those questions that's always going to be in hip hop. Nas versus Jay Z. Nas versus Jay Z. Yeah. Tupac versus Biggie. Tupac versus Biggie. Yeah. yeah, that's the shit I'm sick of, man. Them, them Pac and Biggie combos, you know, chill the fuck out. Like, I'm talking about since elementary school niggas arguing about that. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, like, man. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, we, we, we need more more competition, more debates. Yeah. But what kills me is that, you know, when niggas say, like, certain dudes is old school, but when it comes to Pac and Biggie, they get into my past. I'm like, well, they're old school, too. That was the case. Facts. Yeah. Stupid niggas. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, man. All these R and B fucking questions. Who's the yeah. R&B? That's why I said on my post, I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all pussy niggas talking about that. I'm bumping. I'm bumping. I'm. I'm I'm bumping this everybody's food too, Nick. I'm bumping, Nick. Rock out of here. I'm I know somebody. I, I posted like R. Kelly's the king, and somebody said, "Nah, Eric Benet." And I'm like, "Nah, what? fuck no, no, fuck <laughs> out And then I said, "Eric Benet lost Halle Berry off that. He loses, <laughs> loses off that alone." Fuck I'm sorry. Here. I'm sorry, but if r and if you if you're not Keith Sweat crying for pussy, you're not the king of r I'm sorry. <laughs> All eyes on me was doggy style. Whoa, doggy style, doggy style by far. Yeah, yeah. I love eyes on me to death. I love eyes on me. I'm a big fan, but I gotta go doggy style, my nigga. Oh, KRD got a good Judgment Night versus Gang Related. Damn Yo, man. Judgment Night gets slept on, man. Oh, yeah. Dope soundtrack too. I'm gonna go with Judgment yeah. Night. I fucking love that movie. I gotta revisit that because I don't remember that movie yeah. too much. But, I've yeah. seen it on VHS Blockbuster. Niggas rented it because niggas love it. You know me, I'm a head, I'm a hip hop head to the fullest. So, right. I kid you not. I was in Iraq in 2008, and some Haji motherfucker sold me Judgment Night bootleg for a dollar. <laughs> I bought yeah. that so Good. quick. <laughs> I got a dollar right here. Classic. Yeah, definitely uh, still. Gang related was cool too. I liked it. Yeah, it's a dope movie. Yeah. Dope soundtrack too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Gridlock double disc. Gang related. Gang related. Over gridlocked. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be on another 30 minutes, fellas. I'm going to Six Flags tomorrow morning. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Magic, you got to... Magic Mountain, right? Yeah, I got to take my daughter, yeah. man. No doubt, no doubt. I'm going to let her skip school for this. New Jersey Drive, a cop land. New Jersey Drive all day. New Jersey Drive, my nigga. I fucking worship that movie. Yeah, Copland is slept on too. Yeah, Copland is slept on. Yeah, I ain't never seen Copland. I'm gonna keep it real. That was, that was great. It's dope. Dirty yeah. ass motherfucking cops, man. That piece of shit, them niggas, man. That's Lord. a Stallone one, right? Yeah, yeah Stallone, Robert De Niro. He's in that movie. Harvey, Harvey so. man. Oh, Harvey Cotts. He's such an underrated actor, man. Yeah. yeah. Get Rich or Die and Trying album versus 2001. 2001. 2001. That's, you can't compare that. Ever. Get Rich or Die and Trying doesn't even meet up to half of that album. Nope. Now that shit gets spanked, my nigga. Yeah. 2001 all day. That's just not even. That's just alone. Not... Instrumental alone shits on Get Rich or Die Trying. Oh, my, of course, man. Yeah. It's not even touching the skits. <laughs> <laughs> Man. 
I never had a funny story for y'all niggas, man. I'll never forget this. I was playing fuck you, you know what I mean? You ain't gotta take that the question off, Chase, man. We just clowning, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm playing fuck you, and this kid's like, hi, the bitch is like, hi, daddy. And I was on the phone with my girl Todd. She's like, shit, who the fuck's that bitch? I'm like, it's a fucking album. <laughs> <laughs> it's an album. Bitch thought it was a voicemail or some shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> that shit is classic, man. I, I worship that. A bitch niggas and yeah. Daddy Eddie Griffin talking shit on that. That shit is classic. Oh, man. Man. In the exit oh, interview on uh, Breakfast Club, he said that <laughs> Mailman was originally on a What's the Difference Between Me and You? Oh, and, man. and he said that that Dre told him to what's it called? The uh, horrible question. Now nah, it wasn't ain't, ain't no horrible question, man. I'm gonna let you be on that one. Um he said that Dre told him, Hey, can you flow to this? And he flowed without hearing Eminem's verse. None of them, only Dre knew Eminem's verse, but Eminem never heard Exhibit's verse, and Exhibit didn't hear Eminem's till the album came out. Oh wow. I was like, man. That's that was such a classic song. Stop the beat a minute. That's just fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive and all that. Oh, a classic. Yeah. Murder Inc. Oh, God, that's fire. And that's explosive. Dark. I heard the original also. The Royce the Five Nine version. Oh, shit. Oh, what's going on? Yeah. On explosive. Oh, shit. Because he originally did it, and then I guess Corrupt and Nate did theirs, and Dre went with that one. I know Royce did some writing on there. Oh, yeah, yeah he wrote the, the, the message for Dre. It's great. Oh, shit. I, I think I heard that before. Fucking Lord Finesse produced that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, did. yeah. Yeah. Better question. Straight out of Compton versus the Chronic. Oh, shit. Oh, the Chronic. Yeah, I'm going to Damn. Something <laughs> to dance to is fucking Basuda. Which one? Something to dance to at the end of the show of the That shit is oh stupid. That's some electric boogaloo type shit, man. That's that, that's that Arabian <laughs> Prince nonsense. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I wanted to I be in the movie. I might just watch Fuck Breaking off. Part 2 tonight, man. Who knows? <laughs> Oof. 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 I'm going to go with Chronic, man. Slightly. I love Straight Outta Compton. I love it, too. But I'm a niggas for life guy. Yeah, same. Same. Yeah. But I'll give it this. Without Strata Compton, we wouldn't have those albums we're talking about. Right. Would they have Eminem? Have would they have 50? Would they have Game? Yeah. D12, yeah. Snoop, DPG. Oh, my God. The list goes on. Eastsiders? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably the biggest hip-hop family tree there is. Oh, that's a fact. You wouldn't have Bone Thugs. You wouldn't have Westside Connect. Mm -hmm. Jesus. No, no. No caution, no lunch mob, none of that. No, no Friday movies. Yeah, Friday yeah. Movies. Damn. No Cube Vision. No, no Beats yeah. by Dre headphones. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <man. laughs> Jesus, it, it just goes on and on and on. You know everything Snoop has done, everything Cube has done. You wouldn't have that big three league. You wouldn't have Snoop Dogg's little football league. Right. Yeah, that's a fact. Man, you wouldn't have all eyes on me. Fuck right. no. The whole DPG, everything. Oh my god. There would be no death row. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't, yeah. There wouldn't be. You know, you wouldn't have Royce the five nine. Yeah. Nah, the Eminem wouldn't have been out. Who else? Yeah, they probably would have been independent, you know what I mean? Like, would have been power, man. That shows yeah. amazing. Yeah, facts. It all lead the roots go all the way back to straight out of Compton. That's a fact. That's crazy, man. When you think about it, it's like Jesus. It just goes on forever. It's like the same thing with um DITC. With no DITC, there would be no dip set. Yeah. There wouldn't be no terror squad. Yeah. No, 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 no Compton, you would have Kendrick, you would have J Rock, Schoolboy Q. Facts. None of that. Yeah, but DITC is a big hip hop tree as well, man. Oh yeah. 
Big fan of them. Same. Hell yeah. Cats need to be put more respect on Soap is his name because he's so underrated. Yeah, he is. And he gave us props, so shout out to that nigga. Word. Hell yeah. Without reasonable doubt, there will be no state property. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, Rockefeller, it's not as big as the other one. But... I mean, Jay, Jay put some people on, but Dipset was Dipset before yeah, Rockefeller, before they yeah. went to Rockefeller. Yes. So you could give them state property. You could give them J. Cole. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Kanye. Rihanna. Rihanna. I mean, well, yeah, he signed a lot of people to Def Jam and everything that, right. yeah, but... It, it, if reasonable that de- if Jay never existed, I, mean, I think hip hop still be okay. Yeah, like, it would. Straight out of Compton, if you erase that from history, Bone Thugs, everything goes out with it. Oh man, that's a big chunk of hip hop. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, that's crazy. All eyes on me. Disc one verse two. Disc two. This one. This one for me. I couldn't even tell you, honestly. <laughs> this had, you can't see me. Wonder why they call you bitch. Holla at me. Um, all kinds of shit. Rather be your nigga. Um, oh, fine. I mean, yeah, the album's dope, but I, I, I'll roll with this, too. Trading War Stories. That's this one, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. This too also had a checkout time. Oh man! Yeah. Oh my god! I fucking love. we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, fire! I, I love that track, man. I love all eyes on me, nigga. I, I can't count how many times I played that. Actually, getting ready to leave my fucking hotel because of that song, man. I love that shit. Breath stinking in them yawning. It's a sunny day in California. Oh, yeah, yeah. For, oh. God. I- Niggas are bugging, man. Fucking Hoovy is bugging. I love that yeah. album, man. Oh, what did Hoovy say? <laughs> that shit's trash and all that shit. Fuck out of here. I wow. love you, Hoovy, but it's bugging. <laughs> it ain't five mics, but it's cool. Yeah. I give it 4.5. I worship that album. I'll give it a 4.5. Yeah, I can do that, but. I think that's one of his best. I, yeah, I agree. I Me mean, against the world is better, but. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you on that. Because I, that's my favorite, though. That's my favorite too. I, I fucking love that album. To me, his that's his magnum opus. My personal opinion. Yeah. Yes. I I think me against the world is more like for real hip hop heads. All eyes on me is more the rap fans. Right. You know, it was me against the world was so much more lyrical. Yeah, it's more personal too. Yeah. Dark too. Life yeah. after death, disc one versus disc two. Disc one. That gets shaky um, for me because I lump it all together for some reason. I can't really decide. Which disc yeah. had more money, more problems? This one. One. Okay, then I'm gonna go with two. This this two had ten crack commandments and all that too. It so. had notorious okay. thugs on this two. Yeah. <laughs> Sky's the limit on this too. See, Biggie damn. would Biggie spit gully shit on his singles. That's what I love, man. Like That's nigga said, my orange box, my orange box clutter makes the world go round for some fucking, you know, bitches ain't my homegirls now. And I, I love life at the death. That shit's amazing. I hate more money, more problems, man. I'm like, that shit does not belong on there. You you hate that more than play hater? Yeah, oh. I hate that song more than Player Hater. Yep. Player Hater is trash. <laughs> I'd rather listen to Player Hater, man. Wow. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. Nah, nah, I, 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 I put it like this. I'd rather listen to More Money, More Problems and Player Hater over Hypnotize. I don't like that song at all. You don't like Hypnotize? Uh, I, no, I fucking hypnotize. hate that song. I'm I so burnt out from that. <laughs> I love Hypnotize. Oh, oh, my God. It hit tears from my hooligans in Brooklyn. Dead right. If they hit, that's fine, man. But at night, Papa Ben smokes. <laughs> oh, man, I love that shit. 
during my during my club days was very was very little. Son, the whole fucking floor of rapping that shit. The uh hypnotize man and the more money more you problems. Put hypnotize right on that. right now at any rap concert and it better get crazy up in there. Oh shit, any club you go to any club, yeah. Go crazy. yeah. But niggas bleed, dog. Niggas oh, bleed. Yeah. You know? What's some beef and shit? With LOX? Oh, my God. Going Who the fuck want to scream? We was jamming the fuck out of going back to Cali. We still do out here. Oh, yeah. California love versus hypnotize. California love. I'm biased. I'm, I'm going to ride with my you side. Can, I, can, I love that one, too. California love? Yeah. Oh God, I'm birthday on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna ride with California love. The video's fire. I mean, the nigga Pac dancing in that motherfucker. The nigga was getting it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a fuck. Get a fuck. I used to say that I was a kid. That nigga killed it. Crazy. That's a dope. I that's a dope video. Dope I, a classic song. That that was on disc one though. Man, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, last days that. is on this one too. Yeah. Who the fuck wanna squeeze? A bezzy D's make MC free. Oh Biggie kill that shit. So piss the world off right now. Jigga body Biggie on I Love the Dough. <sighs> Let me, let me oh. see. <laughs> nah, fuck no, no. nigga. No. 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 <laughs> Being broke so, this, and I'm quite grown. Oh. Man. Same night, same fight, but one of cats. None of cats ain't playing. I let you tell it. You know that was a shot at Pac. Case it's too too felon. Fuck is dead. <laughs> man. Live for the moment. Makes sense, don't it? Now make dollars. Yeah. Man, come on, man. You can't. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you, my nigga. Go ahead. You, you, you can have that. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, he killed. Well, Biggie killed that shit too, man. He did the best TD. <laughs> roars. Oh, my God. I would, if that commission album came out, that should have been bananas. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like Puffy, but that fucking Young G's. Oh my lord, that nigga Jay killed that shit. <laughs> this here's the dog years. The motherfuckers don't shed. Bye. Thing versus gin and juice. G thing. Oh, gin and juice, man. G thing by far, man. G thing. I go gin and I go gin and juice. By a yeah. small margin, yeah. yeah. G thing, cause out here in Cali, that's. Like, we need to review see. Doggy Style. We need to review Doggy oh, yeah. Style, yo. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't need to take no fucking notes on that. I know, like the back of my fucking hand. Oh so. fuck yeah. Same, and same. Other, yeah, I mean, Steven killed that chronic so uh, Doggy Style is a must, and that, that came out on my birthday like last month, so right. it's celebrated anniversary. So I think we should do that definitely. Yeah. So. Yeah, G thing, that's a, that's a barbecue music right there, man. Oh yeah, you know, barbecue picnic, cruising, beach, everything. Gin and juice is more um house that party. house party shit. Yup. Even though G thing could be house party as well. Lord. But gin and juice is mainly hey, it hits midnight. Throw that shit on. Mm -hmm. I was watching an interview. Shout out to my nigga Kill. Shout out to Kill. Shout out to Palm Five B. I was watching the latest episode and Kill was like. He used to make fun of niggas rocking perms and jerry curls from the East Coast niggas. And I'm like, yo, I was I was enamored with that shit, though. I don't know how you felt, Steven and Chris, but I love that shit. Jerry curls and shit. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I, I was, same. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was enamored with the West Coast culture, man. Always yeah, was. Yeah, same. <laughs> I didn't get how niggas trying to make fun of that shit. I thought it was dope. Yeah, but they, they was rocking that shit in the East Coast, too, in the yeah. 80s. Oh, yeah. yeah. And y'all niggas watch Superfly and shit like that? And Ron O'Neill got a perm and shit? Come on. Exactly. <laughs> y'all East Coast had Soul Glow. Yep. <laughs> so so <good>. Silk <laughs> is smooth. Another classic movie quotable for fucking days, my nigga. On so my <laughs> oh my God, that's classic. What is this, Velvet? 
Oh, man. I took Joppy Joe's jacket, the little Italian nigga. That shit was funny as hell. The Jewish nigga, I think he was. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Good morning. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Oh <laughs> shit, is classic, bro. Oh man, eighty-eight. I'm gonna go with bitches ain't shit, Chase. Pump pump versus bitches ain't shit. Yeah, pump pump for me, man. <laughs> that nigga from the illegals, little chocolate loco. What the fuck his name is? He killed that shit. Yeah, little Malik. He killed yeah. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pump, pump, but bitches ain't shit is hard too. Oh yeah. Dead presidents or Jackie Brown? Dead presidents. Yeah, dead presidents, man. Yeah, dead presidents. Jackie Brown is underrated though. Yeah, yeah I love that movie. Edgar, what up, Edgar? Edgar, peace, man. Edgar, still brother. Yeah, man. Yo, fellas, I'm out of the and I'm getting tired as fuck. No doubt, brother. Word. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I got about 15 minutes left in me. Word. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll stay with Ricardo and I'll end it. Right. Yeah, we'll end it right now in a bit. Word. All right, fellas. Catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. Word, man. Peace. Peace, Peace Steven. Thanks for doing this, brother. Coming to America, man. I wish I could have. They they had the McDowell's open for like three days out here, and I couldn't make it, man. McDowell's, oh yeah. I wanted it. It was just a pop up. They turned a the, uh, Fat Tony's. It's a famous sandwich shop. They turned or Fat Sal's. They turned it into a, a McDowell's for a couple days, man. It had a different menu and everything. I would have loved to go fucking just take a picture, but I couldn't make it. Yeah, man. John Amos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that movie. What a perm. <laughs> <laughs> when they left the stains on that couch, that shit had me dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anderson, yeah, Samuel Jackson getting his ass whooped. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Nothing. What's coming out this week besides Fiend? I know some other shit. Meek Mill's on CD. I'm going to pick that up. Uh, I don't know what else is dropping this, this Friday. I've seen the Tanner Talk 3 CD presses. They look beautiful. Can't yeah, to get man, my I'm mad I couldn't get my hands on that, hey, man. Ricardo, Friday, he's putting some more up. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. Definitely ordering that shit. I'm not I'm not even gonna hesitate. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna hesitate. that's payday for me too. You hear that Conway yet? I heard some of it. I haven't heard it all yet. Oof. Retarded. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then uh, I was listening to part one again earlier today too though. Oh yeah. Fire. Man, those lakes are busted. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, this year in hip hop was, was fucking dope, man. Yeah. For sure. Uh, I'm just like looking at all the CDs. I'm like, fuck, I can't believe all this shit came out this year. Crazy, man. No, but yeah, for sure, I'm going to have to do that top 20, top 25 with you. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, you know. there's stuff that's not making my top 10. And I'm like, fucking wish I could, but I can't put it on there. Like, right now, I have a good seven CDs set aside, and I haven't even reviewed some of the stuff I want to, so some of these might even get knocked out. The show that came out this year, I just reviewed once. I mean, I listened to once. I didn't even fucking care for afterwards, you know what I mean? The worst album of the year by far is YG's. Oh, oh my god, Basura. The worst <laughs> album of the year. Garbage. Wow. Fucking dumpster juice. <laughs> Trash. 
the worst <laughs> thing. That nigga rocking some fucking, you know, Gregory Hines shoes now and shit. Nigga, weirdos. Huh? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> oh, tap dancing ass blood nigga. So shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck YG was thinking with that album. <laughs> and like, people on YG's nuts was like, oh, it's his last album on his contract. That's why. No. There ain't no excuse to release a bad album. Thanks. The only excuse you have is if you left the label and they dropped this album without you, without your involvement. Yeah. I've heard trash like that, like like Tupac. Can't blame him for these shitty ass albums that after he died. Right. Can't blame him. But even like Black Market putting out Brother Lynch stuff after he left was still dope. His leftovers yeah. were still dope. Was it EBK and all that shit? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Do the right thing or higher higher learning. Do the right thing. Do the right thing for me, yo. I love that fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Higher learning. Shoot, Remy, shoot. <laughs> Classic. Fucking Thanks. Remy. Oh, Higher learning was deep, man, and, and it's all that shit's still relevant today, man. I I I, I, I fucking fought Nazis before, so I relate to that shit. But still these relevant. niggas, these niggas are rocking Amari Stoudemire jerseys and shit. So these niggas were confused, you know what I mean? Brenda's got a baby, <laughs> but keep your head up. Ooh, that's a good one. Keep your head up for me. Keep your head up. I think. Oh, because Brenda's got a baby's dope story. Keep your head up was a dope message. They both had a good message, but I think keep your head up. Yeah. Anybody can listen to you when, when you're going through some, some trouble times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reservoir Dogs or Pulp Fiction? Reservoir Dogs, Clarity. Pulp Fiction. I love Reservoir Dogs. That shit's fire. I'm on, my, I'm on my Mr. Pink shit, nigga. I don't tip. <laughs> tip. <laughs> Fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> I get around versus how do you want it. I don't like how do you want it. I don't care I for that. I'm going to go out and get around. How do you want it for me? Because there's a, there's a special it. reason why. <laughs> do you pipe somebody down to that or what? <laughs> no. Nah, my, my girls to like do this like strip tease to that shit for oh, me. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, son, I still want to fuck that bitch. Her name was Carla. She was a Puerto Rican. And if you, this, I don't know where the hell this bitch is at. I got to find this bitch on Facebook or something. Go stalk her now. Yeah, man. Son, big ass titch, fat ass, son. And she was amazing. American History X versus American Me. American Me. American Me. American History X is amazing, too, but. Oh, yeah. American Me was just one of the realest movies ever made. When you when people are dying because it's so real, you know it's cra- it's a legit movie. I felt bad for the old lady. She was trying to just get the hood together, and they killed her. That's fucked up, man. She's fucking with their money, man. She's fucking with that drug money. Oh, she she was. No, what what I mean is like she's getting people out 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 the gangs and stop selling dope. So the oh, oh I got you. I yeah, it wasn't this. even the Mexican mafia who had her clipped. It was the street gangs that decided on all mm-hmm. that. That's crazy. Yeah, but the Mexican mafia had had a big role in a lot of the dudes getting murked out, and even the the like advisors, like the actual Mexican mafia members who were um, like on set advisors and everything, they got clipped real quick. I got blood and blood out coming in the mail soon. Can't wait. Watch that motherfucker. Yeah. You watched it all though, right? Oh yeah, I watched Blood and Blood oh. Out over the years, like fucking yeah. over twenty times. But I never like physically had it, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Amazing. Oh yeah. Mijo. A Montana gets stabbed up. Oh my god, by yeah. Wallace. Uh, fuck man, that fucking nigga that the black nigga with the pick and all that shit. Uh, I don't give a fat fuck who that taco eating motherfucker was. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know who that taco eating motherfucker was? Your mama. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> Crazy, yo. <laughs> That's great, Popeye. That nigga fucking hilarious. That nigga Al, that gay nigga Al, so that nigga was fucking annoying as shit. I'm glad he got his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Big Al. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you, you, you want to fuck the shit out of that nigga, man. That dude was, man, fuck all that. <laughs> Grom, oh, yeah. That, uh, Danny Trejo's in that movie, too, man. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be at his restaurant on uh, Friday. I'll be at his restaurant on Friday. Niggas are washing the pots and all that shit, and he's like, he's in there. When uh, that nigga Milkweed was about to kill that nigga. Uh, for the last question for me, it's the songs, not albums. Uh, oh, I get what you're saying. Um, me Against the World is a better song than All Eyes on Me, in my opinion, Chase. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I agree. Me Against the World, yeah. <clears throat> Me against the world. Yeah. Fucking love that album. Oh yeah. Need to review that too. Oh, yeah. Man, when when they when on Blood and Blood Out, when they rolled up on Spider and everything on that, oh my Spider was scared. He did not want to think, fight Paco. I'm trying to think of that scene. That movie's long as fuck. I'm trying to think. Um that's after Cruz got dropped on the fire hydrant. Oh, yeah, they dropped Cruz and he was fucking with that bitch. Yeah, and they went to go oh, get yeah. Messi's back. Spider One, no smoke. Yeah. Um, they did a, a anniversary thing. I want to say it was earlier this year on Blood and Blood Out. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't get off work, but it, Spider was there. A, a lot of the cast was there to do a, a Q&A. Oh, shit. Oh, so, Spider Chico was there. Uh, the guy who played Big Al, I believe Big Al. Or Lightning. The guy who played Lightning. Not Lightning. That's Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, Red Rider. He was there. Yeah. Bunch, bunch of the guys who weren't too famous after the movie was there. And it was dope that they, you know, said how they came about making the movie and what they're up to now. It's a, it's a fucking masterpiece. It is. I, uh, I just fucking love that movie. Did you guys hate the All Eyes on Me movie? Yeah, yep. Oh my yeah. lord. Chase, you like that movie? That movie was trash, man. <laughs> like them gay niggas who live in color. Hated it. Trash. I it a better movie than that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I spent my money to see that motherfucker. Me too, man. And I had just worked a double. I was tired and I'm like, nah, fuck. I was hyped. I'm talking about months in advance. I was like, Fuck yeah, it's going down. Yeah. And that shit was trash. Yeah, man. Park, would you want it direct? Who would you want to write and direct it? Um, John Singleton. Definitely nobody from the first one. They should have let what's his name direct it? Uh, Singleton. Singleton. Yeah. I think Singleton or F. Gary Gray. Them the only two guys who would do do a decent movie. Right. I I reviewed that when I seen it and niggas were niggas were agreeing with me, man. They're like, yo, this shit's trash. And it was man, and I hate to say it because I wanted it to be good so bad. Same. Yeah. That shit was worse than the Biggie movie, and that was trash too. <laughs> Another movie that I uh went to go see, unfortunately as well, yo. Like, <laughs> I was in Iraq when that came out, and. I kept hitting these hajis up. You got that biggie movie yet? You got that biggie movie yet? And when they finally got it, I paid two dollars for it, and I was mad. <laughs> oh man, I could have got a different movie for them two dollars. Fact. It should be a mini series, though, Edgar. I'm with you. It should be a mini series if you ever do a legit two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> So so should straight up all that shit should have been miniseries because do like ten hours you could do ten episodes an hour each and tell so much more. Don't be a menace or high school high. I don't like either one of them. I don't know. I'm kind of. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm real. I'm, uh, I'm just like yo. Why, why are you making fun of the hood for? Like I'm. I don't know. Got it. 
corny shit. And the Wayne Brothers, I want to punch them niggas in the fucking face half the time. I don't like them niggas. You know? I like the Marlon yeah. show, the new one that's out. Um, yeah. I like the Wayne's Brothers show when they had that going. Right. That was but okay. I hate their movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I take that back. The the Marlon scary movies. Uh, yeah. I thought those were funny. They were funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think Sean is corny as fuck. Oh, God, he's trash. <laughs> and Damon oh, Nick- had a good run, but his show, My Wife and Kids, was corny as fuck. Oh, my. <laughs> I, I, remember I mentioned that today on the Juice Review because, you know, oh, the little is- nigga's in there. <laughs> the little son, he's in the. He, he oh, yeah, that's Juice right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, but. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing that somewhere else. Yeah. But the kid is fucking terrible, man. Damon Wayans was hilarious on um colors. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, he's in colors? Yeah, he's man. In color. Yeah. I-, I own colors too on D. I ain't seen that in years. To watch it, man, because like when he's in the van with uh what's that other actor's name? From Don Cheeto? Rwanda. Rwanda. Who what's that? Don Cheeto, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the van about to do the drive-by, and uh, Don Cheeto's looking all crypt out, and Damon Wayans is freestyling in the back seat. Oh, and Damon Wayans had, like, some bunny suit on in that movie. Yeah, too. Oh, He's crazy. Yeah, another scene. Yeah. yeah. What up, blood? I ain't see color. I'm talking about I ain't see colors in fucking years, my nigga. I'm talking about or stomp the yard. Hell no. Nah, I ain't watch either one of those, man. <laughs> What the you, you think we watch that shit? The fuck we look like. I watch either one of those. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, there's some fuck boys up in there, right? You know, fuck niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell asked that question? Oh my god. Darren. Darren Wilson. Oh, Darren. Yeah, Darren's my nigga. Darren's joking, probably. Yeah, it's not the Darren. Stop. <laughs> oh, shit. Bio, biopic on Compton's Most Wanted. Um. Nah, not, I'm not really. Nah, there's really no story there. Yeah. Unless there's stuff I don't know about, but I really don't care. <laughs> Music to drive by is a classic, though. Oh yeah, she checking them too. Fucking the first yeah. album, it's a Compton thing. I love all that shit. <laughs> Big fan. I doubt that will ever come up. I I, th- I know Daz Dillinger's still trying to make that one movie, and I know it's gonna be corny. Oh, fuck. God, yeah, he got that nigga Darius Love that tried to be Pac. Oh my lord, son! Look up that nigga. That nigga is a clown. <laughs> nigga got horse teeth and shit. Trying to oh, he's ugly as a motherfucker. Oh my yeah, lord! I'm not trying to see any movie Daz Dillinger puts together. It's gonna be low budget as fuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's gonna be shot on an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, <laughs> fuck off. <man. laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh shit! I watched it when I was going through some bad times. Don't watch All Eyes on Me again, Chase. Hey, <laughs> nah, watch something good, man. It'll give you more bad time. So fuck yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, watch colors, it. man. Go watch colors. Yeah. I got into it with Gmo about that. G my nigga Gmo, he loves that fucking movie. I'm like, I, I don't know why. Oh, man. That's me? <laughs> yeah, man. Jesus. That shit is trash. I'm, I don't know anybody <laughs> personally who liked it. Nah. Yeah, man. It's the only nigga I know. Fuck that! That like the the shooting scene when like when Tupac dies, that shit was corny as fuck. It didn't, yeah, yeah. no emotion, nothing. At least the Biggie got that right when they had the yeah. funeral and his mom's cruising through the hood. Yeah. They got that emotion right, right, man. You felt it a little. Pac, you didn't feel shit. Even Selena got that shit right, man. Yeah. When Selena dies in that movie, that, that shit, you feel it. And it's like, nah, fuck all eyes on me. Trash. <laughs> Terrible. I hate that named it all eyes on me. They should have named it some other shit. Pox Life. 
At least it would have matched the fucking album. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Benny Boom and that other, that's the fat nigga. I don't know that corny nigga name, but he tries to. I don't to, respect um... them at all. I wish I'd meet them. I'd be like, dude, why'd you, you fucked it up. You. <laughs> yeah. Fuck all that. Just just like push a T with the purple tape. I just lost respect after that. Yeah. What the hell? Crazy. It's only one purple tape, nigga. Exactly. A Leah movie was terrible too. Yeah, that's a lifetime movie though, so that was expected. <laughs> She's still rolling. Lifetime don't do good movies. Oh no. Is it is it Griselda Blanco too? I'm like, oh my lord. I didn't watch that either. No, I need to. I I was thinking my cocaine cowboys, my nigga. I'm good. Girl, she got gunned down though, man. Yeah, man. They didn't give a fuck how old she was. I was like, man. <laughs> you guys gonna watch Narcos Mexico, man? That shit is crazy. I watch. Yeah, it. I didn't watch it. It's good. You watching it, Chris? Yeah, I'm watching it with uh, Diego Luna. Yeah, man. Good actor. Oh, yeah, Diego Luna is a great actor. He was on Sway in the Morning the other day, too. That shit was oh, shit. a dope interview. You know, I'm glad he, he get in he get in his props. I mean, I knew he was going to get something good after he did Star Wars. Yep. Another franchise I fucking adore, man. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I, I love can't... Star Wars, man. Yeah, man. yeah, I can't really rock in the forums like that because them niggas are too nerdy for me. But oh hell yeah, dude! They yeah. Take... Did you ever see that movie Fanboys? Nah. Oh, you gotta look that movie up, man. That movie's a classic, man. Mark Hamill is hilarious. The nigga that played Luke. Yeah. He said, like niggas at a convention were asking him, like, "What is the serial number on on the the sword that the the oh, license?" My God. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know. I left it at your mom's house. <laughs> you gotta watch fan- Fanboys. What it's about is um, it takes place in 1999, right before Episode One comes out. That was big, son. And exactly. So, like, it's a group of friends, and one of them has ter- terminal cancer. Oh, so man. they plan on driving all the way to the West Coast and breaking George Lucas's house to steal Episode One, so their friend can watch it before he dies. And that shit is pure comedy, dude. You, yeah, it's hilarious, man. Oh, shit. I watch it every now and then. It, it's fucking... And if you're a Star Wars person, like you don't even have to be a nerd. But as long as you like Star Wars, oh, you'll like that movie, man. It's yeah. They talk so much shit about Star Trek. Oh, wow. Star Wars is, is the illest shit besides hip-hop and metal that my uncle taught me. Yeah. I worship Star Wars, man. Like... uh since like ninety two, that's when I got down with Star Wars, my nigga. And I, I know I'm not going in chronological order, but the first three are my favorites, man. Really? Yeah, a New Hope. Oh, New Hope. Okay. I yeah, yeah. So one, two, and three. I was like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying I'm going in. I'm going in order of release, my nigga. Right, right, right. A <laughs> uh, Jedi and Empire, my nigga, all day. Yeah. All what did day. you think of Rogue One, man? Never seen it. Never, You've seen, never seen Rogue One. Never it's seen it. Rogue One. That that shit is bad. Yeah, I didn't like it. Oh, you didn't like it? Nah. Rogue oh, One. I love Rogue One. I fell asleep when I was watching. It. Fuck no. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, you got to watch Rogue One. It is. Like, when did that shit come out? It came out like two two years ago. Yeah. Like yeah, Rogue Hold One. On. Is that the takes shit place with, uh... between um, episode three and, and a new hope. Is that the shit with the black nigga in there and all that? No, nah. Whitaker's in it. Oh, okay, it I'm Diego Luna in it. But yeah, Force Whitaker's in it. Yeah, yeah. But like, let's say you're watching episode three, and then you watch Rogue One, and then um, a New Hope. It it connects them so crazy. Where it's like one big movie, episode three, Rogue One, New Hope. It, it could have been a six to seven hour movie. Yeah, it, it literally connects it like the way they they uh, CGI Princess Leia as she was young and Darth Vader and all this other shit going into uh, uh, a New Hope. It was fucking ridiculous. Fucking love Star Wars so much. Watch, man. watch Rogue One. 
I, I think you'll like that one because I oh, haven't I met too many Star Wars heads who did not mm-hmm. like it, man. You know what I hate, man? Allergies is fucking me up lately. Jesus. You know what? Right now, too, I think something was on my jacket. Like, I don't know if there was a cat around it or something because I'm allergic to cats. And, like, I was coughing up a little bit earlier and it, it was just fucking me up. I had to throw the jacket away real, real quick. Yeah. I, I just mentioned that because my nose is burning right now, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hate Clerks that shit. or mole rats. Oh, KRD, that's right. good. Um, right. Clerks, I never seen mole rats. Shit. You gotta see that. That's funny. Uh I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with mall rats, man. Oh fuck. That's close. I love clerks. That was good too. Yeah, man. But mall rats. Oh yeah. That that was like that teenage life just kicking it in the mall too, man. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch a lot of shit tonight, man. Even that boulevard shopping or working, you were still at the mall just in yep. trouble. That Boulevard Nights, I gotta check that out. I gotta oh, check out yeah, that movie. Please Vita. check out Boulevard Nights, man. Yeah, I'll check out all that shit today, man. I'm wide awake, man. I'm good money. <laughs> Jay Z biopic. Nah. Nah, don't make no Jay Z movies. Who the fuck gonna play Hope? Like, come on. No, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't don't do that. I mean, he has an interesting story, but no. Jay Z's like 6'3, he got big ass lips, so you gotta pick a nigga that's gonna play him, man. <laughs> You know, no, he has a dope voice. Like, I don't think who the fuck's gonna play hold, man. Come on. Oh my god, did y'all, did y'all see the big L biopic that they're trying to do? Oh, oh, oh big L, yes, it looks trash. Trash, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna watch it, man. That's some yeah. disrespectful. shit. They got this nigga that playing pun, he looks trash. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna that send y'all niggas the link. That happen, man. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I'm telling y'all niggas this shit looks terrible. Hold on a minute. God. Half Did baked or American pie. American pie, Carity. What was that looking? Half baked or American pie? Oh, yeah, American I'm gonna go pie, American definitely. pie because that was more like my high school time. Yeah, classic. I was never a weed head, so half baked, it's whatever to me. Yeah. Half baked's trash, and I, I'm not. You're talking to weed head right here. <laughs> you know? but American Pie come on every group of friends was chasing that ultimate goal in high school yep, yep. everybody I look, oh nice. yeah I was lucky enough to get that shit in middle school I was 14 I was oh, yeah, same here hey same here man I was in junior high <laughs> yep same here man um, American Pie had a dope soundtrack too I love that soundtrack <laughs> I'm gonna send y'all niggas a link to that uh big L page. Oof. Oh, hey, I sent you the, the link to Mi Vida Loca. Oh great. I'm gonna watch that shit today. Yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube, it's free. Yeah. Revival versus Phantom Menace. Uh, a movie revival, or are you talking about the album revival? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have to go with revival because Jar Jar Binks just fucking sucks. <laughs> Misa, 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 fuck off. Oh my god. Hey, hey, on that movie Fanboys, they talk about Jar Jar Binks. And that shit is like some dude has it tatted on him. And he's like, man, this new character Jar Jar is coming out. I already got him tattooed on me because he's gonna be dope as fuck. And it's so hilarious, man. Because <laughs> it, it all takes place before, before it drops, man. It's so hilarious. Yeah, Jar Jar is trash, man. <laughs> like, like on Fanboys, man. It, it has um, Seth. Is it Seth Rogen? Yeah. Uh, Seth Rogen. I guess he had something to do with the movie, and he he plays like this Star Trek nerd, and these Star Wars dudes want to like rumble it out with these Star Trek people, and it's fucking classic, man. Star Trek is just walking around talking all day. I don't like Star Trek, man. <laughs> I've always hated Star Trek. Yeah. Let's talk for 45 minutes while you bust some Ferengi nigga in the head. That's just boring, man. I also love Star Trek. Or right? Hot Boys. That's the good question. <laughs> All the blocking. Hot Boys. I'm going to go with oh, Cool. Hey. This nigga Silk, Silk doing roundhouse kicks and shit. Huh? <laughs> I love when AJ Johnson, when they're coming up, he's like, we, we, we should call ourselves Cool in the game. <laughs> <laughs> AJ Johnson is hilarious, man. Oh, shit, man. 
Hot Boys. I mean, it was a dope plot. It was just bad acting. <laughs> Gary Busey and his horse ass teeth in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care for Baller Block, and I saw it one time and didn't care for that. I told Steven, I got to revisit that because I barely remember it. I watched it, though. Training Day or City of God? Training Day. Training Day, but I love City of God. That shit is God fire. Is Grommy as fuck. Yo. Training Day, though, man. Fuck was that. When them essays found that wallet, I'm like, this dude is dead. Nice. Nigga that played Blood and Blood, I was in that shit too. He played uh, Casito's homeboy. I think he's in there oh, too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's been in. A, he was on the substitute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like the good guy though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Niggas are shooting up that heroin, listening to Jimi Hendrix. Blood and Blood out. Fire. Oh man, Little Wing, that's the shit. That's my jam, man. I love that song. That's one of my favorite Jimmy songs right there. That's one of my favorite album to get high to, man. Axis Bold is Love. Yeah. Man, speaking like what we were saying about Polly and, and like like if your mom said like you how you hurt um when when Crucito's dad was like you're dead to me, like Juanito. That like fucking killed him, dude. That killed him just as bad, man. Oh uh, yeah. American. It wasn't his fault, though. What's that? When he, uh, his little brother OD and shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in the movie, yeah. yeah. And, the, and the dad was, like, dead to me. And then on the Dia de los Muertos day, that because that's big here in Cali, man. Day of the Dead. Yeah. That is huge. Yeah. Um, and he forgives him. That, that was a crazy scene. You guys hyped for American Dream. I don't know what that is. That. I'm going to write all those movie downs in my, my notes on my phone because I don't want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> fanboys and all that shit. I want to watch all that shit. You got to watch Fanboys. God. All the Suge Knight movie on Life. Oh, they're doing the movie too? Oh, God. <laughs> On Lifetime? Oh, man. That's going to be like the Michelle A shit. <laughs> I thought it was the documentary. Is that the name of the documentary? Yeah, it's a documentary. It's not a movie. All about All right, the so- janky promoters. Janky promoters. I'm going to go with janky promoters. I got to take a mean piss, fellas. Is Poland Spring Water is talking to me. Man, but, I'm about uh, to log off, bro, because I got to be up in a few hours. All right, y'all. All right, so th- this is my time out. Um, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace, y'all. All right, peace. peace.